you need for your creative marketing process. K-E-A-V-E-R-S-V-O-I-C-E dot com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Nope. Nope. Come on, him. Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge, featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. Itchy, squirmy, scratchy, family not getting clean? Get Charmin Ultra Strong. Go get them. It just cleans better. With a diamond weave texture, your family can use less while still getting clean. Goodbye, itchy squirm. Hello, clean bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? At Hampton Law, our primary goal is to provide non-traditional yet effective solutions and redefine the approach to client legal concerns. As your trusted legal advisor, we believe in sophisticated, personalized services that eliminate the confusion and complexity sometimes associated with legal matters. Our high standard for client care and concern, coupled with our extensive legal knowledge and skills, make Hampton Law a resource focused on the protection of the client's interest and overall goals. We value our clients and truly enjoy working with them. Visit thamptonlaw.com to conveniently schedule an appointment online. Tamika Hampton Esquire, 1631 Rock Springs Road, Suite 336, Apopka, Florida, 407-494-1471. thamptonlaw.com. Nope. Nope. Come on, him. Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High-quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge, featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. When it comes to professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center, an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. This is Always Ultra Thins reinvented with the Always Triple Protection System. This pad wicks gushes 90% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry, and locks odors in. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally reinvented Always Ultra Thins. This is always like never before. The Cuvée Group is a Florida-based marketing and training consulting firm. We help businesses communicate to their target audience and engage them in conversation. We also help to expand their audiences, which will ultimately result in growth for those organizations. In addition to being a certified constant contact specialist, 
My colleagues and I are also certified in John Maxwell Leadership Principles. We use these proven principles to conduct workshops, training, and private coaching sessions for individuals and companies looking to take things to the next level. Contact us to schedule a free consultation. Issues today, don't delay, call Cuvay. As technology continues to bring changes to the world of education, it's time we also reimagine teacher professional development. Gone are the days of one-size-fits-all learning that can only be accessed at a specific time and place. The Stride PD Center is an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that allow educators to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. The best professional development plans are those that include a level of flexibility and choice for educators. Whether you're a teacher, school, or district, visit us today to take charge of your learning. It's never too early to plant the seed, to share the tradition, and instill a sense of pride in your HBCU with your little ones. HBCU Pride and Joy Children's Boutique helps you share your school spirit with a wide selection of adorable kids apparel and accessories officially licensed from your favorite HBCU. Visit HBCUPrideJoy.com and follow us on all social media at HBCU Pride Joy on Facebook and Twitter. This is Ryan Fulford. A.D. Drew and I are co-hosts of the BCSN Sports Wrap. We talk about all things related to HBCU athletics. From the games, teams, coaches, and fan interest stories, we cover it all. You can find our shows on Facebook at BCSN Sports Wrap, YouTube at MyJBN Online, and everywhere you listen to podcasts like Anchor, Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. You can also find the show on the Jericho Broadcast Network's app. Make sure to download. We look forward to you joining the conversation and being a part of the show. I'm returning to Clinton, Paris, and Tampa's my community. I grew up here, went to school here, and my wife and I make our home here. What makes Tampa special are its people. So when I represent someone injured in my community, it's personal. Call my office and speak to a real lawyer and not some referral service. I will fight the insurance companies to get the settlement that you deserve. At the law office of Clinton, Paris, we take the pain out of being hurt. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Kevers Voice time and time again. Conversational, powerhouse, intelligent, and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K-E-A-V-E-R-S-V-O-I-C-E dot com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Nope. Nope. You want him? Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website 
www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. Itchy, squirmy, scratchy, family not getting clean. Get Charmin Ultra Strong. Go get them. It just cleans better. With a diamond weave texture, your family can use less while still getting clean. Goodbye, itchy squirm. Hello, clean bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? At Hampton Law, our primary goal is to provide non-traditional yet effective solutions and redefine the approach to client legal concerns. As your trusted legal advisor, we believe in sophisticated, personalized services that eliminate the confusion and complexity sometimes associated with legal matters. Our high standard for client care and concern, coupled with our extensive legal knowledge and skills, make Hampton Law a resource focused on the protection of the client's interest and overall goals. We value our clients and truly enjoy working with them. Visit thamptonlaw.com to conveniently schedule an appointment online. Tamika Hampton Esquire. 1631 Rock Springs Road, Suite 336, Apopka, Florida, 407-494-1471. thamptonlaw.com Nope. Nope. Come on, him? Ooh, I like him. The Quicker Picker Upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the Quicker Picker Upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge, featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. When it comes to professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center, an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. This is Always Ultra Thins reinvented with the Always Triple Protection System. This pad wicks gushes 90% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry, and locks odors in. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally reinvented Always Ultra Thins. This is always like never before. The Cuvée Group is a Florida-based marketing and training consulting firm. We help businesses communicate to their target audience and engage them in conversation. We also help to expand their audiences, which will ultimately result in growth for those organizations. In addition to being a certified constant contact specialist, my colleagues and I are also certified in John Maxwell Leadership Principles. We use these proven principles to conduct workshops, training, and private coaching sessions for individuals and companies looking to take things to the next level. Contact us to schedule a free consultation. Issues today, don't delay, call Cuvée. As technology continues to bring changes to the world of education, it's time we also reimagine teacher professional development. Gone are the days of one-size-fits-all learning that can only be accessed at a specific time and place. The Stride PD Center is an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that allow educators to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. The best professional development plans are those that include a level of flexibility and choice for educators. Whether you're a teacher, school, or district, visit us today to take charge of your learning. 
It's never too early to plant the seed, to share the tradition, and instill a sense of pride in your HBCU with your little ones. HBCU Pride and Joy Children's Boutique helps you share your school spirit with a wide selection of adorable kids' apparel and accessories officially licensed from your favorite HBCU. Visit HBCUPrideJoy.com and follow us on all social media at HBCU Pride Joy on Facebook and Twitter. This is Ryan Fulford. A.D. Drew and I are co-hosts of the BCSN Sports Wrap. We talk about all things related to HBCU athletics. From the games, teams, coaches, and fan interest stories, we cover it all. You can find our shows on Facebook at BCSN Sports Wrap, YouTube at MyJBN Online, and everywhere you listen to podcasts like Anchor, Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. You can also find the show on the Jericho Broadcast Network's app. Make sure to download. We look forward to you joining the conversation and being a part of the show. I'm returning to Clinton, Paris, and Tampa's my community. I grew up here, went to school here, and my wife and I make our home here. What makes Tampa special are its people. So when I represent someone injured in my community, it's personal. Call my office and speak to a real lawyer and not some referral service. I will fight the insurance companies to get the settlement that you deserve. At the law office of Clinton Paris, we take the pain out of being hurt. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Kevers Voice time and time again. Conversational, powerhouse, intelligent, and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K-E-A-V-E-R-S-V-O-I-C-E dot com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Nope. Nope. You want him? Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. Itchy, squirmy, scratchy, family not getting clean? Get Charmin Ultra Strong. Go get them! It just cleans better. With a diamond weave texture, your family can use less while still getting clean. Goodbye, itchy squirm. Hello, clean bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? At Hampton Law, our primary goal is to provide non-traditional yet effective solutions and redefine the approach to client legal concerns. As your trusted legal advisor, we believe in sophisticated, personalized services that eliminate the confusion and complexity sometimes associated with legal matters. 
Our high standard for client care and concern, coupled with our extensive legal knowledge and skills, make Hampton Law a resource focused on the protection of the client's interests and overall goals. We value our clients and truly enjoy working with them. Visit thamptonlaw.com to conveniently schedule an appointment online. Tamika Hampton, Esquire, 1631 Rock Springs Road, Suite 336, Apopka, Florida, 407-494-1471. thamptonlaw.com. No. Nope. Nope. Come on, him? Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge, featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. When it comes to professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you... Good afternoon from Sloan Stadium on the campus of Miles College this afternoon's ball game will be between the Golden Tigers of Tuskegee University and the Miles College Golden Bears. Big pivotal SIAC match between these two teams. It will determine uh, if the Golden Tigers will go to the SIAC championship. Good afternoon, Ken Woodard, along with Kendrick Hooks and the best in Tuskegee University Golden Tiger football on the Golden Tiger Football Network. Well, thank you, Frank. Uh, it's good to be back. It's good to be in Miles College to see some good football. Miles College is six and one. We're five and two. And I always state before and before that SIC football is one of the greatest sports of competition. And and I like the way when they come to the end zone to give prayers and blessings. And it's, it's, it's a solid, they play in a contact sport, but their heart is in the right place. Golden Tigers in their white road jerseys and white pants trimmed in crimson and gold. Miles is in black, trimmed in purple and gold. The Golden Tigers will kick it off to Miles College. And this ball game is just about to get started here in Fairfield, Alabama. Frank Lee, Ken Woodard, and Kendrick Hooks. Here's the kick. It's going to go into the end zone. It will bounce inside of the three-yard line, Ken. It looks like the officials will mark it. Let's see, did it go in the end zone? I think it went, may have went out, uh, out of bounds because they threw a flag there. So we see it may move the ball up to the 35 or the 25. Which It'll be first and 10. Miles will get a chance, Ken, and Kendrick to touch the football for the first time in this ball game. It'll be first and 10 for the Golden Bears from the 35-yard line. Beautiful day for football, about 74 degrees here in Fairfield, Alabama. We're at Sloan Stadium on the campus of Miles College. First and 10 for the Bears of Miles. The ball is going to be marked on the 35-yard line. Miles has receivers twin to the near side, one split to the far side. Miles has a man in motion. Here's the first snap of the ball game. It goes up to gut, gets maybe a yard on that play, making the stop for the Golden Tigers. is going to be number three, Malik Moore, on the stop for the Golden Tigers. And we'll tell you who's going to carry that ball for miles. We're working somewhat at a handicap with the roster, but we'll 
get it in for you. Justin Jackson on the carry for Miles. Going to be second down. Here's the play. Fires it out. Nobody home. Incomplete. It's going to bring up third down for the Miles Golden Bass. Third and nine. The ball is on the 35-yard line of Miles. Third play of the ball game. 14-32. In the first, Miles took the ensuing kickoff against the Golden Tigers. Third down and nine. Ball is on the 36-yard line of Miles. Here's a play. Here's a snap. Miles drops back, wants to throw. Rushed heavily by the Golden Tigers. Caught inside of the 41-yard line. <laughs> and Golden Tigers break that one up. Breaking it up for Tuskegee is going to be Vincent Hill. And that's going to put Miles, guys, in punt formation. I like, I like that um, Miles came out and they tried, they were reading films, and they tried to hit that A guy. But our guys have came, and you can see that we're a vintage season. Um, ball players that move and did a great job in making it third and nine. Miles will punt it from the 25-yard line. Here's the punt. It's going to be, fair catch is going to be called by... Michael Hill for the Golden Tigers. Golden Tigers will operate first and 10, the first opportunity to touch the football game here in this heavily competitive SIAC competition. Good afternoon, Kendra Cooks. 11 13 42 in the first. Golden Tigers will touch the football for the first time. First and 10, the ball will be marked on the 11-yard line. 13-42 in the first. Golden Tigers will start Bryson Williams. Williams sets up his offense, has receivers either side. Here's Williams. Williams has a man in motion. Here's Williams, first play of the game. Williams Rolls to the sideline, turns it up, calls his own number. He'll pick up about three on that play, guys. Yeah, really smart of Bryson to go down right there with the slot and not take the hit. You know, we've seen him go down early in the year. Good to see him back and helping to lead this Golden Tiger team. 13-24 in the first. Ball game is scoreless. Second down and eight. Bryson picks up two yards on the first play of the game. Williams sets his receivers either side. Here's Williams in a long count. Ball is on the 13-yard line of the Golden Tigers. Here's Williams. Here's a snap. Williams, play action, throws it out, has a man open. It's caught by Corey Petty, and Corey Petty will catch it inside of the 27-yard line. Actually, that will be inside of the 17-yard line. It's quite a bit of glare on the field, and it's very difficult to read those Miles numbers, guys, because they're in black jerseys and the sun is bearing down. We have somewhat of a visual impairment in regard to trying to get those numbers. Scoreless contest, 12-26 in the first. The ball game is scoreless. Possession down, third and five. Ball on the 16-yard line for the Tigers. Bryson claps, makes some adjustments. There's a flag on the field. Looks like it's going to be delay of game, guys, against the Golden Tigers. Twelve seventeen in the first ball game scoreless. Third down and five for the Tigers. Golden Tigers penalized five yards. It's third and five. Scoreless contest. Bryson has receivers. Twin to the near side. Twin to the far side. Has a man in motion. Here's Bryson on a long count. Sets up, wants to throw, has a man open. He's going to be, he's going to get a first down and more. It's going to be brought down around the 27-yard line, and that's going to be on the receiving end for the Golden Tigers. Guys, help me with those numbers. It's very difficult. It looks like that's going to be number 15, Antonio Meeks. Uh, catches that first down pass for the Golden Tigers, first and 10. They'll move it to the 26-yard line. Here's Bryson on a long count. Bryson, play action, flips it out, bat it down. Intended receiver for the Golden Tigers was going to be Grandis Poole. And Poole 
That pass was broken up by Miles. Thirteen twenty-three in the first, second down for the Golden Tigers. Ball is on the twenty-six yard line. Eleven twenty-three in the first. Bryson Williams has receivers either side, two to the near side, one to the far side. Bryson changes up to play. Takes his time, gets a signal from the sideline. In the backfield for Golden Tigers, it's going to be Zena Marble. Here's the play. Bryson sets up, wants to throw, throws long, has a man open. He catches and falls inside of the 32-yard line. On the receiving end was Grantis Poole for the Tigers. Ken and Kendrick. Great job. Go ahead, Kendrick. Kendrick, go. Yeah, that, that was a great read by Bryson. Great job. <laughs> we know Kendrick and you and I, we, we really think alike and we see the game the way you see it. And we just want to give you all the sense. Of Third down and six. Let's go, guys. Here's Bryson. Bryson rolls around, gets inside. Bryson gets slides down near the down box, but he's going to be shy of the first down. Did he get it? He did get it. First down, move the chains. First down, Golden Tigers. It looked like they're marking a little bit short. No, he didn't get it. Fourth and one. He did not get the first down. He'll need four, fourth, fourth and one, and Coach Evan James is going to go for it here in the first. Here's the play. Bryson on a keeper. And let's see what's going to happen. Did he get it, guys? We'll wait and see. Look at the down marker. It, is, it, says it looks close. like it's going to be pretty close. Pretty close. He did get the I first. Lo I love the effort. And I first love down, the move the chains. Effort. First second down, effort. Ken and Kendrick. Golden Tigers pick up a first down. Ball is going to be first and 10 from the 35-yard line of the Golden Tigers. You know, when I played in the NFL, Frank, it was like you got to sell it. You, you sell it, and it's up to the referee to make the call. If you did it or you did not, go ju good job. Here's a play, first and 10 from the 36. Bryson calls the signals, claps, hands it off to Zena. That's going to be inside. He picks up maybe a yard on that play. And let's make sure. That's going to be Zena. It is. Zena Marble carries the ball. It's very difficult, ladies and gentlemen, to see these numbers. We have one heck of a glare here, and Miles' jerseys are black, and the sun is beaming down, and it's almost impossible to read those numbers on the field. Second down and 10 for the Golden Tigers. Ball is on the 36-yard line of Tuskegee University. Nine minutes in the first. Bryson has Marble in the backfield as the setback. Receivers either side, play action. And there's a flag. It, uh, there's a flag on the field, guys. Delay a game, five yards stepped off against the Golden Tigers. That's gonna move it back to the 31 yard line. It'll be second down and 15 with 850 in the first. Frank Lee, Ken Woodard, and Kendrick Cooks on the Golden Tigers Sports Network. Bryson looks over to the sideline, has twin receivers to the near and far side. Marble is the back for the Tigers. Second down and 15. Man in motion. Here's Bryson, sets up, rush heavily, throws. It's caught inside. Good for another Golden Tiger first down. Catches it inside of the 47-yard line, and that's going to be Chase Sellers. Uh, I'm sorry, Marcus Large on that Golden Tiger first down. Great timing, Rob. Great execution. Here's a play. Play action. Bryson fires out. Looks to the sideline. Has open again. Granite's pool picks up another yard. That's going to bring up second down on about nine. For the Golden Tigers, ball that's going to be marked on the Tuskegee 44, Kendrick and Ken. Yeah, I like when the Golden Tigers go to their tempo. You know, they, they get the first down, they, they tend to uh, pick up the 
tempo a little bit. I'm gonna get the offense in the rhythm. Offense is really moving right now, and let's see if we can ball out and get a good score. Seven thirty-six in the first, second down and twelve. First down, I'm sorry, first, second down and ten. Here's Bryson. On a long count, Bryson sets up, calls his own number. Bryson finds a way, gets about five yards on that play, crosses midfield, gets in Miles' territory, Ken and Kendrick. Yeah, you know, when you, when you talk about Miles, Miles this year, um, they've been pretty solid on the run. So you see them doing a lot of design runs for um, Bryson Williams. And, um, you kind of saw the tape last week. You all just think that the quarterback, the mobile quarterback, can uh, give Miles a little bit of trouble. 6.55 in the first ball game, scoreless. Golden Tigers with the football, third down and six. Ball is marked at midfield as the Golden Tigers are working from the left hash mark. Bryson Williams calling the signals, has trips to the far side. Bryson runs around, and Bryson takes his time, gets inside, picks up a first down, and he's going to be moved out of bounds around the 40, the 38-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Golden Tigers. Ken and Kendrick. Yeah, it looks like we got some laundry on the field. Might be a late hit out of bounds um, on the quarterback. As you can see, the emotion. This is, this is rivalry week in the SIEC. It is rivalry week, not only here, but across the SIAC. Pivotal games. Uh, this game is going to make a big difference. Golden Tigers are doing their level best to get on the scoreboard. 632, ball game scoreless. First and 10. Golden Tigers have the ball on the miles, 37, guys. It's definitely going to be a nail biter to the end because miles is still 6-1, and one, and they beat our uh, infamous uh, Alabama a &M the week before, and they also beat Alabama State. Time out on the field. Bryson looks like to be injured. Let's pause on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. This is Always Ultra Thin's reinvented with the Always Triple Protection System. This pad wicks gushes 90% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry, and locks odors in. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally reinvented Always Ultra Thins. This is always like never before. The Cuvée Group is a Florida-based marketing and training consulting firm. We help businesses communicate to their target audience and engage them in conversation. We also help to expand their audiences, which will ultimately result in growth for those organizations. In addition to being a certified constant contact specialist, my colleagues and I are also certified in John Maxwell Leadership Principles. We use these proven principles to conduct workshops, training, and private coaching sessions for individuals and companies looking to take things to the next level. Contact us to schedule a free consultation. Issues today, don't delay, call Cuvay. As technology continues to bring changes to the world of education, it's time we also reimagine teacher professional development. Gone are the days of one-size-fits-all learning that can only be accessed at a specific time and place. The Stride PD Center is an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that allow educators to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. The best professional development plans are those that include a level of flexibility and choice for educators. Whether you're a teacher, school, or district, visit us today to take charge of your learning. It's never too... We're back to live action here at Sloan Stadium on the campus of Miles College. Six minutes and 21 seconds in the first Golden Tigers with the football. First and ten. From the miles 37, Golden Tigers have a man in motion. Replacement, Bryson went out of the ball game. And Roberson is in for the Tigers. Roberson hands it off, gets inside, and he's going to pick up about six, maybe seven yards and maybe drug down to a first down. We'll wait and see where the forward progress will take him. But 
the Golden Tigers were driving, guys, and that's another Golden Tiger first down. Move the chains. And look, you got to give a shout out to that offensive line. You know, really getting there, getting a hand on that man and pushing them forward, pushing the pile forward. We knew this would be a big test for them. However, the old line for Tuskegee seems to be up for the test. First and 10 for the Golden Tigers. The ball is on the 26 yard line of Miles. 532, Roberson in to replace Bryson. Twin receivers to the near side. Play action, it's going to be overthrown. That intended receiver for the Golden Tigers was going to be number 15, Antonio Meeks. And he's always been the guy to go to. When you get down this tight there, you need something tight, he can make that play. And that, that was good call because the pressure was coming from, from the blitz. And uh, they put eight in the box, and they sent the whole kitchen at him. Great job by the quarterback. Five minutes and 22 seconds. In the first half, Golden Tigers with the football, second down and 10. Ball is on the 26-yard line of Miles. Roberson in the ball game to replace Bryson Williams. Roberson in it, quarterback for the Golden Tigers. Twin receivers to the near and far. Here's play action. No, Bryson's back. Bryson unloads, has a man open. It's going to be caught inside of the four-yard line. Move the chains. First down. Golden Tigers on that catch for the Golden Tigers was Corey Money Petty. Kendrick. And, and I tell you what, um, Bryson is starting to look back like his old self now. He's standing there making those, um, those throws um, like we know he can make it. And um, that was a big time throw and a big time game. 453 in the first. Golden Tigers knocking at the door. Bryson founds Petty. First and goal, ball on the five-yard line. Bryson has receivers twin to the near side. Here's a play. Up to gut goes Zena Marble, and Zena's going to get it maybe back. Gets about a half a yard on that play, guys. Yeah, and it's going to be tough out in the run on this Miles defense. You know, got to get them credit. They've been stout all year. Um, they're ranked number two overall in the, in the conference, and they're also ranked one in Russian defense in the conference. So um, I look for their defense to really still out on the run today. This is a pivotal game for the Golden Tigers and very common as Aaron James comes back to Miles. It's been about 10 years. Here. Here's your play. Bryson on a long count gets a signal from the sideline. Has receivers, twin either side, twin tight end set. Marble is the back. Here's the play. Zena fumbles on the play, but Bryson falls back on it. And there's a mix-up on the exchange, guys. Those are the kind of things that the Golden Tigers cannot do and win this ball game. But Bryson recovers the football. That's going to bring up third down, and they're going to lose a yard on that play. Look at that, Bryson was able, there, good heads up play to get in there and fall on that ball. Um, he, he seemed a little, a little bit shaken up a little bit. You know, I think that hit um, on the last series, you know, kind of uh, banged him up a little bit. But hopefully he's able to shake it off and get in here and, and um, come back and play. Aaron James calls timeout. Let's take a timeout on the Golden Tigers Sports Network. It's never too early to plant the seed, to share the tradition, and instill a sense of pride in your HBCU with your little ones. HBCU Pride and Joy Children's Boutique helps you share your school spirit with a wide selection of adorable kids' apparel and accessories officially licensed from your favorite HBCU. Visit HBCUPrideJoy.com and follow us on all social media at HBCU Pride Joy on Facebook and Twitter. This is Brian Fulford. A.D. Drew and I are co-hosts of the BCSN Sports Wrap. We talk about all things related to HBCU athletics. From the games, teams, coaches, and fan interest stories, we cover it all. You can find our shows on Facebook at BCSN Sports Wrap, YouTube at MyJBN Online, and everywhere you listen to podcasts like Anchor, Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. You can also find the show on the Jericho Broadcast Network's app. Make sure to download. We look forward to you joining the conversation and being a part of the show. I'm returning to Clinton, Paris, and Tampa's my community. I grew up here, went to school here, and my wife and I make our home here. What makes Tampa special are its people. So when I represent someone injured in my community, it's personal. Call my office and speak to a real lawyer and not some referral service. 
I will fight the insurance companies to get the settlement that you deserve. At the Law Office of Clinton Paris, we take the pain out of being hurt. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. We're back live from Sloan Stadium. On the campus of Miles College, Golden Tigers are knocking at the door. Third down and goal. Ball is on the six-yard line. Bryson regroups. Uh, Golden Tigers going to go with that uh, twin tight end set. Uh, they're going to have three receivers to the near side. Marlboro is going to be the setback for the Tigers. Shift in motion. Bryson calls the signals from the six-yard line. Here's the play. Bryson, play action, rolls to his left, flips it out, touchdown, Golan Tigers strike for the first time in the ball game, six nothing bowl game, Golan Tigers strike with three twelve in the first. And that's what you love to see out of that Golden Tiger offense. You know, had a good drive going, was able to just march it down the field methodically and punch it in for seven right here. That's what you call a big-time drive and a big-time game. Here's a PAT by Lorcan Ryan for the Golden Tigers. PAT is up. It's good. 7 nothing is your score with 3-12 in the first. Let's pause on the Golden Tigers Sports Network. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Kevers Voice time and time again. Conversational, powerhouse, intelligent, and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K-E-A-V-E-R-S-V-O-I-C-E dot com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Nope. Nope. Come on, him? Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. Itchy, squirmy, scratchy, family not getting clean? Get Charmin Ultra Strong. Go get them! It just cleans better. With a diamond weave texture, your family can use less while still getting clean. Goodbye, itchy squirm. Hello, clean bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? At Hampton Law, our primary goal. We're back to live action where the Golden Tigers with three minutes and 12 seconds. Bryson Williams found Antonio Meeks in the end zone. We have a 7 nothing ball game as Lorcan Ryans makes plans to kick it off to the Bears of Miles. Here's Ryans. He kicks it off. It's going to be taken. 
Inside of the five, the 10, the 15, the 20. There's an open field. And Miles fumbles the ball. And the Golden Tigers will, let's see, who will have it? Miles fumbles the ball. And it looks like the Golden Tigers may recover. We'll wait and see, guys. A bursting run by Miles. And it looks like it is going to be the kicker. Lork and Ryans or either we'll see who's going to come up with the football. Frank, this is a classic move on special teams. The, the guy can keep running, but he can't run him without the ball. Go for the ball sometime. That's good heads up play and the visual. by the Golden Tigers player. get the fumble. First and ten, the Golden Tigers take advantage of a Miles turnover. They get the football first and ten on the 25-yard line as Miles fumbled on the kickoff return. The ber kickoff return guy for Miles just coughed it up. And the Golden Tigers came up with that fumble recovery. First and 10 with two minutes and 57 seconds in the first. Tuskegee captivates on a Miles College turnover. 7 nothing is your score. Here's Bryson. Has receivers either side. Bryson claps his hands. Play action. Bryson rolls around. Gets inside. Slides for about five yards. He'll get it to the 34-yard line. I really Actually, he's going to get it to the 44-yard line. And Ken and Kendrick, this glare is doing me injustice this afternoon. I'm right here with you, but I tell you what, um, Bryson must have been practicing with the baseball team because he's really improved on that slide um, and a good run on first down. I tell you all the time, I, I love to get four or five yards on first down um, to help stay ahead of the sticks. Second down and six. Ball marked on the 40-yard line. Bryson. Has twin receivers to the far side, one to the near side. Here's a man in motion. Bryson claps his hands, sells it well, and that will be good for a Golden Tiger first down. Zena Maba picks up a Golden Tiger first down. He'll take it down to the Miles 48, guys. And I tell you what, that offensive line, um, they're, they're doing a really good job right now. Um, they're getting out there, getting to the second level, um, beating their man, and uh, opening those gaps up, those lanes for uh, the running backs for Tuskegee. A minute 48 in the first. Golden Tigers seven, miles zero. Golden Tigers are taking advantage of a miles turnover on the kickoff. First and 10, ball is marked on the 49. Bryson has twin receivers either side. Here's Bryson on a long count. Play action. Bryson sets up. He has time. He's going to have to eat it. He gets sacked and it's going to fall back on the 41-yard line as Miles sent send everybody in, guys. They sent the kitchen in there. That, that one, that was a uh, great job by Miles. Good call. Where they they got to get the pressure on, on, on Robson. So, and they, they got the pressure on him that time. And I tell you something that won't be in the stat sheet. Um, although we did get the sack on that down, Mobile really, really helped. Um, he bought him he a did. little bit of time, time, but I don't think that Bryson was able to see, you know, the man on the ground. And, and, and shouts out to the Miles defender. He never gave up on the play. Play action on that last play. It's going to be second down and 19. Ball is on the 43-yard line. Bryson, twin receivers to the far, one to the near. Bryson gives it to Zena. Zena gets inside. He gets it back to the 47 yard line. Picks up about four on that play. It's going to bring up third down. It looks like it's going to be about 14 or 15 yards. I love the head Third head down, head. 13. The heads up play of Bryson Williams is being great. He's, he's making things happen. He's looking at the vet, being a veteran player. And it sounds so good. So he's moving and grooving and making things happen. Third down and 13. Ball is on the 47-yard line of the Golden Tigers. Timeout call. Let's pause on the Golden Tigers Sports Network. Itchy. Squirmy. Scratchy. Family not getting clean. Get Charmin Ultra Strong. Go get them. It just cleans better. With a diamond weave texture, your family can use less while still getting clean. Goodbye, itchy squirm. Hello, clean bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? 
At Hampton Law, our primary goal is to provide non-traditional yet effective solutions and redefine the approach to client legal concerns. As your trusted legal advisor, we believe in sophisticated, personalized services that eliminate the confusion and complexity sometimes associated with legal matters. Our high standard for client care and concern, coupled with our extensive legal knowledge and skills, make Hampton Law a resource focused on the protection of the client's interest and overall goals. We value our clients and truly enjoy working with them. Visit thamptonlaw.com to conveniently schedule an appointment online. Tamika Hampton Esquire, 1631 Rock Springs Road, Suite 336, Apopka, Florida, 407-494-1471. thamptonlaw.com Nope. Nope. Come on, him. Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website www.slowburnwaco.com That's www.slowburnwaco.com When it comes to professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. This is Always Ultra Thin's reinvented with the Always Triple Protection System. This pad wicks gushes 90% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry, and locks odors in. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally reinvented Always Ultra Thins. This is always like never before. The Cuvée Group is a Florida-based marketing and training consulting firm. We help businesses communicate to their target audience. We're back to live action from Sloan Stadium. At the end of the first and the beginning of the second, Golden Tigers have a 7-0 lead over the Miles Golden Bears. Third down and 13. Ball is on the 47-yard line of the Golden Tigers. Bryson Williams has twin receivers to the far, one in the near side. Set back is going to be Zena Maba. Has a man in motion. Here's Bryson, takes the snap. Bryson sets up. He has time. Bryson is going to run. He is going to slide out of bounds. <laughs> around the, he's going to get it to the 44-yard line. And it's going to bring in the punting team as uh, Ryan Duff will come in the ball game for the first time. He'll be punting it from his own, fifth, from his own 42, 30. Let's get, he's going to punt it from the 37-yard line. Duff in punt formation for the Tigers. Has had an exceptional year punting the ball for the Golden Tigers. 14-21 in the second 7-0 ball game. Golden Tigers take a seven-point advantage over Miles. It's going to be taken inside, and he is going to be hit immediately. The Miles punt return guy is going to be brought down, and that looks like it's going to be inside of the 18-yard line. That's the best I can tell you with the sun beaming down in our visual point. It looks like it's going to be down on the 14-yard line. We'll go by the scoreboard indication. I was just about to say, Frank, you were really close. You were really close to it. 
exactly. First and ten <laughs> under adverse circumstances. Miles is in black jerseys, and it's impossible to read those numerals until the sun goes down. Here's the play. Second play of the series. Miles will pick up three yards on the carry. It's going to bring up second down and about seven, I would say. Uh, 13.56. In the second, Golden Tigers out front by a Bryson Williams pass to Antonio Meeks. Second down and five. That play picked up about five yards. It's going to mark it on the 16-yard line. Miles with the football. Twin receivers trips to the far side, shifting in motion. Golden Tigers adjusting, and Miles will be rushed heavily, and it's going to be thrown out of bounds. <laughs> Nobody home. Defending on the Golden Tigers is going to be number 10, Dreeland Monroe for the Golden Tigers. And you you got to give credit to the defense on that backside blitz. And it, it, that was a rushing of the quarterback. He had to get out of the pocket. And it was a good call by Miles to try to just get rid of the ball as opposed to taking a sack inside their own 20. 13-26. In the second, Miles with the football on the 16-yard line of the Bears. It's going to be thrown out, caught inside, and Miles will pick up a first down. They'll take it down to the 32-yard line. That play good for about 16 yards. And uh, let's move the chains. First down, Miles. 7-0, there's your score. Ball is on the 26-yard line with 13.04. Miles picks up a first down. Here's the play. Play action. It's a run up the gut. Breaks again, and they will be close again to another Miles first down. It is a first down. Move the chains. Miles moving the ball down the field here against the Golden Tigers with 12.44. In the first, Tuskegee out front, 7-0. Here's Miles. On the play, Golden Tigers break it up. It's going to get down to the 39-yard line, pick up about two yards on that play. Yeah, the Golden Tigers defense is, you know, they're really um, selling in on stopping the run. Um, our defensive line, they're really holding up, and then those linebackers come in and make those tackles in the gap. Second down and eight, ball is on the 40-yard line. Twin receivers to the far, one to the near. Here's the play. It's a run up the gut. Play action. Play action, that's going to be a pass. The intended receiver from Miles couldn't get a handle on it. It was overthrown. That's going to bring up uh, third down for the Golden Bears. Third down and eight. Ball is on the 40-yard line of Miles, 12-07. In the second, Tuskegee seven, Miles zero. Miles with the football, twin receivers to the far side, one to the near side. Here's Golden Tigers. Here's a blitz. And Miles, it's going to be off the fingertips and in the hands of a Miles receiver. It was batted up, but he held on and caught it. It's good for a Miles first down. They'll move the ball to the Golden Tigers. 45, guys. Yeah, we want to thank the ground for making that tackle yeah, that at that time. Here's a play. Miles with the football. Fires it out. It's going to be caught inside, and it's good for another Miles first down. He catches it inside of the 13-yard line, and that play good for another Miles first down. 37-yard pass. Miles gets it. First and 10. They'll have it on the 14-yard line. Quick offense. Miles with the football. Gives it up to gut. Golden Tigers stop them, and they won't get anywhere. Golden Tigers read well defensively on the stop for the Golden Tigers. It's going to be Malik Moore. It's going to bring up second down and 10. Ball will be marked on the 14-yard line with 11.02 in the second. Ball game, 7-0. Golden Tigers out front. And Miles with the football, second down and nine. That play good for one yard. Ball is on the 14-yard line. Miles with the football. Miles. Got a free play. Got a free play. Somebody jumped off sides. It looks like it's going to be Golden Tigers may be penalized for jumping too soon, guys. <laughs> Offsides against the defense. 
Golden Tigers will penalize. It's going to replay the down. 1040 in the second. Golden Tigers, seven, miles zero. Miles is knocking at the door. Going to be second down for Miles. The ball is on the eight-yard line of the Tigers. And there's another flag on the field, guys. It looks like they'll give us that five yards back. They're going to give the Golden Tigers that gift back five yards. Seemingly going to be assessed against Miles. Well, wait and see. Looks like no. No, it's going to be against the defense. It was against the defense, and that's going to move it down. It's going to give the Miles an automatic first down, first and goal. Four miles. Ball is on the four-yard line of the Golden Tigers. First and goal. Ball is on the four. Seven-nothing is your score. Golden Tigers struck first, but Miles is knocking at the door. 10.40, clock runs in the second. 7 nothing is your score. Here's the play. Miles with the football. They give it up to gut. Golden Tigers say nowhere to go. And the Tigers stop Miles. It's going to bring up second down and goal, guys, for the Bears. What you say, Kendrick? We got that laundry on the field again. We got that laundry on the field again. Hopefully we have it spotted in five more yards. Five-yard penalty. Let's see who it'll go against. They're putting the bringing the dog team in. It's going to be against the defense again, guys. It's going to bring them first down again, first and goal. Ball is going to be marked on the four-yard line. Frank Kendrick, this is actually when the Golden Tigers really play their best ball. They didn't have so many goal lines. Goal stands. line stance for the Tigers. They defend it, and they flip it out. It's going to oh. be caught easily. Touchdown, Miles. Miles gets six on a fade as Miles gets on the scoreboard with 10-32. The Bears six, the Tigers seven. Here's a PAT. Miles with the PAT to make it to make it seven. PAT is good. Seven seven is your score. Let's pause for commercial messages on the Golden Tigers Sports Network. Itchy, squirmy, scratchy, family not getting clean. Get Charmin Ultra Strong. Go get them. It just cleans better with a diamond weave texture. Your family can use less while still getting clean. Goodbye, itchy squirm. Hello, clean bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? At Hampton Law, our primary goal is to provide non-traditional yet effective solutions and redefine the approach to client legal concerns. As your trusted legal advisor, we believe in sophisticated, personalized services that eliminate the confusion and complexity sometimes associated with legal matters. Our high standard for client care and...
Let me know when. Concern coupled with our extent. We have a tied ball game in Sloan Stadium. Golden Tigers seven, Miles Golden Bears seven with 10.32 for those who've just joined us. Miles scored on a fade route, quarterback to the tight end from about six yards out to tie this contest. Seven, seven is your score. And Kendrick, there's another game going on over in Columbus, Georgia. We'll talk about that momentarily. 10.32 is your, is your time. 7-7 seven, seven is your score. Golden Tigers will take the kickoff. It's going to be taken to the 20, the 25, and brought down on the 20-yard line uh, for the Golden Tigers. And that's going to be number 24, Cedric Payman. Well, let's see if that's... Uh, and it's yeah. definitely going to, Frank, it's definitely going to be a, a nail buyer, Kendrick, um, because they're 6 and 1, and they have, they played 60 minutes of football. Tuskegee is moving them forward and playing 60 minutes of football, making the plays. But it's going to be a question of sometimes our penalty and discipline going to make the game. That's the person who's going to win. That's the team that's going to win. First and 10 for the Golden Tigers. Ball is on the 24 yard line of Tuskegee. Bryson! Fires it out, has open. That's going to be for the Golden Tigers. Um, Grants' pool on that catch. He'll get it down. They'll mark it on the 31-yard line. It'll bring up second down and three. That pass good for seven yards. Golden Tigers, twin receivers either side. Bryson. Calling the signals for the Golden Tigers. 9.53 in the second. Tied ball game, 7-7. Seven, seven. Bryson, play action, fires it out. It's going to be caught. Did he get it inbounds? Yes, he did. Antonio Meeks on the reception for the Golden Tigers. You got to love that one-handed hand, one -handed grab. He know. brought it in. He brought it in. That was a beautiful play. I wish you could see that. Um, but Third down and three. Great Ball is going to be marked on the 33-yard line. Second quarter action. Frank Lee, Ken Woodard, and Kendrick Hooks, 921. Ball game tied. Here's Bryson. Takes a long count, looks over, gets a signal. In the backfield is going to be Zena Marble. Bryson, a long count. Here's a play. Has a man motion. Meeks in motion. Bryson flips it out. Fires it out to Meeks. Meeks inside. Meeks on the run. Picks up a first down and more. He'll take it to the 44-yard line. Good play action. Good motion. Meeks picks up a Golden Tiger first down, guys. Eight thirty-one in the second. Golden Tigers have it first and ten from the forty-three. Twin receivers either side. Marble is the setback. Bryson will call the signals from the forty-three yard line. Here's Bryson. Sets up. Bryson sees daylight. Calls his own number, and he'll pick up about four yards for the Golden Tigers. That's going to bring up about uh, second down, and we'll see where the spot is. And Kendrick, Second and seven. Kendrick, I must um, commend you on that with um, what Meeks did on that job. And, you know, you see some speed that we haven't talked about a guy named like Jerry Rice. He he got that he got that go speed. He had the second gear and he elevated and but luckily they made a saving shoestring tackle to get Meeks. But Meeks is a breakaway kind of guy that's you're gonna see more of him. He he, he just does it right. Second down and seven ball is on the forty six. Here's a play, Bryson. Takes the snap on a long count. Bryson sets up. It's a pass. It's going to be caught inside of midfield. And on the receiving end, it's coming out of the backfield, it's going to be the setback, <laughs> Zena Marble. That's, no, that's going to be mix. Let's see. Let's let work with that glare and see. That, that glare is definitely. 
Well, it was caught by the Golden Tigers. I can, I can assure you of that. It's going to bring up third down and six. The spot, they'll mark it on the 49-yard line. Possession down for the Tigers. 6.53 in the second. Ball game tied. 7-7. Trips to the far side. Meeks to the near side. Marlboro is the setback. Here's the play. Bryson sets up in traffic. And Bryson goes down. Bryson is going to be sacked in the neighborhood of the 39-yard line. That'll bring in the punting team for the Golden Tigers. Go right ahead, Kendrick. That's one of the things. When you get in those passing downs with Miles, they have shown that they're going to send, they're, they're going to send everybody. They're going to bring the kitchen sink on you. And right now we're not able to pick that, that mix up. Um, they're bringing in our known passing downs, and um, they were able to wrap Bryson up on that down. Golden Tigers will punt it from the 27-yard line. Here's a punt. Gets it off. Nice one. It'll take a Golden Tiger bounce. And they'll, they'll try to return it. And they'll get it inside of the 25-yard line. I, I, I see how they improved. Frank and Kendrick on, on the special teams get to the get to the back of the end zone to make sure the ball they can down it on the inside the five inside the ten, and that was the first guy was down was prepared for that, and the guy was did a brave move he he received the ball and tried to get some extra yardage. Great punt by Ryan Duff, the senior has had an outstanding year, punting the ball for the Golden Tigers. Five minutes and forty four seconds before. Halftime, ball game is tied, 7-7. First and 10, Miles has the ball on their own 22-yard line. Second quarter action from Sloan Stadium in Fairfield, Alabama. It's a very important, pivotal ball game for the Golden Tigers. Another ball game is happening over in Columbus, Georgia. Kendrick Hooks, it's the Fountain City Classic between Fort Valley State and Albany State. Any updates, Kendrick, on that game? Yes, yeah, so we have a final score in that game. Albany State was able to defeat uh, Fort Valley State University 13-7. Uh, to 7. Um, And that just basically means if Tuskegee wins, we're headed to Atlanta next week. That's a, Albany State did us a favor today in the Fountain City Classic. They removed all doubt. And that will give Golden Tigers a, a shoe in. But they got to get past this very competitive Miles football club this afternoon here in Fairfield. Aaron James and Sam Slade meet for the first time. Uh, Sam Slade um, is in his second year uh, here at Miles. Golden Tigers have Aaron James in his first year. And guys, you know, Aaron James spent a lot of Saturday afternoon on this Astro turf. Yes, he did. Um, when you talk about the connection between uh, Tuskegee and Miles, it has, um, you know, become one of the best rivalries in Division II football. Um, it has. And so um, you got both teams that they just want to win. I think Coach Shea came in and, and did a good job in replacing Coach Ruffin, who's now our AD. Uh, and when Coach Ruffin came, he, he brought a lot of guys over with him. So, um, you know, how many players that are still left at Miles, they would want nothing. And uh, get back at their coach to that level. They know each other well. 544. First down and 10. Miles with the football. Here's a play. Throws it out. Flips it out in the flats. And the Bears will pick up about five yards on that play. Quick out route there by Miles. Ken and Kendrick. Yeah, it seems like... Um they watch a lot of tape on the Golden Tigers. They know like uh, those quick passes, as uh, Ken always talks about. They hit us with those quick slants, those little quick dig routes that they like to hit, um, and uh, make our linebackers have to kind of cover in space. Uh, so they were able to get that one. But um, I'm pretty sure the Golden Tigers. We've done it time and time again. They will adjust to that, and you'll see that Golden Tiger defense stiffen up a bit. Five minutes and 29 seconds in the second. Miles picks up a first down on that play. Ball is on the 31-yard line of the Golden Bears. 7-7 is your score. Miles has twin receivers 
to the near side, one split to the far side, one set back in the backfield. Here's a play. Miles on a run. It gets nowhere. Golden Tigers will drop them back uh, behind the line of scrimmage, and Miles may lose a yard on that play. And I will say I'm really impressed with the Golden Tigers. They have really matured in that area. If you think back early in the season, uh, a lot of teams, they could run the ball on us. But that defensive line, they've grown up some, and um, they're able to stuff runs. I concur with you on that, Kendrick. You can see them. They're they taking care of that A-gap very well. And you got Malik and Vincent Hill, those two sophomore linebackers inside. They definitely, we're going to be seeing them for the next couple of years. Third and three, Miles with the pass, rushed heavily by the Tigers. Miles has a man open. He crosses the 40. He will go. He's going to be run down, and he gets Mike inside. Get it. Mike got him. <coughs> Micaiah. And King pushes him out of bounds. He runs him down and saves that touchdown. Miles will take it down to the one and a touchdown saving push by Michael King. That's the second time he's done that all year. I was just going to say that. One thing about King, he does not give up on the play. So you love that effort. Um, and, you know, the Golden Tigers, they've made goal line stands before. So, you know, you don't give up on the play just because you think it's over with. And Michael King, um, hometown guy, Booker T. Washington, love to see it. 66 yards on that uh, play as it was bursting. But Michael King ran him down, pushed him out of bounds around the three-yard line. We got an injured Golden Tiger on the field. Let's pause on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Legal knowledge and skills make Hampton Law a resource focused on the protection of the client's interest and overall goals. We value our clients and truly enjoy working with them. Visit thamptonlaw.com to conveniently schedule an appointment online. Tamika Hampton Esquire. 1631 Rock Springs Road, Suite 336, Apopka, Florida, 407-494-1471, thamptonlaw.com. Nope. Nope. Come on, him? Ooh, I like him. The Quicker Picker Upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. The live action Miles on the gold line. Golden Tigers trying to hold them, and Miles will take it in from three yards out. Touchdown, Miles. Yeah, you just saw that pile, you know, just getting moved. You, the initial. The Initial pile, seemed like it stopped, but that second effort was able to uh, launch him forward into the end zone. Miles takes a 13-7 lead as the point after attempt is going to be attempted with 4:09 in the second. Miles strikes. Here's the point after attempt. It's up, and it's good. Ball game 13-7. Miles takes a Seven-point advantage over the Golden Tigers. Let's pause with 4.09 in the second. You're listening to the Golden Tigers Sports Network. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Kevers Voice time and time again. Conversational, powerhouse, intelligent, and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K-E-A-V-E-R-S-V-O-I-C-E dot com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Nope. Nope. Come on, him? Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. 
Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. Itchy, squirmy, scratchy, family not getting clean. Get Charmin Ultra Strong. Go get them. It just cleans better. With a diamond weave texture, your family can use less while still getting clean. Goodbye, itchy squirm. Hello, clean bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? In Fairfield, Alabama, on the campus of Miles College, 409 in the second, Miles takes a seven-point lead over the Golden Tigers, 14-7 with 409 before halftime. Here's a kick. Miles punches it off. It's going to go in the end zone, and the Golden Tigers will let it roll there. It'll be first and 10 for the Golden Tigers, Ken and Kendrick. Yeah, what you really want to look for for the Golden Tigers on this uh, possession of series is keeping Bryson Williams upright in our passing downs. You know, um, th that blitz that Miles is sitting on third down when they're sitting in the kitchen sink, we got to be able to take their uh, aggressiveness and, and use it to our advantage. So I look to see Bryson get that ball out a little bit faster, um, you know, a little quick routes, a little quick outs um, that you can hit to get to beat the defense when they're being that aggressive. First and 10 for Tuskegee. From their own 25-yard line, Bryson has receivers twin to the near side in tight. One receiver split to the far side. Bryson flips it, turns the corner. There's Zena. He gets inside, and he'll go down to the 28-yard line in Miles in a little theatrical performance trying to emulate that they had the football, but Golden Tigers didn't let it go. 3.50 before halftime. That Bryson was calling. Go right ahead, Kendrick. That was a good job on Mobile to, sit to um, you know, cut that ball back on the inside. He was trying to get to the edge, but Miles had really stretched that play out. Um, good eyesight by him to savage that play and, and get a good gain on first down. Five yards on that gain. Second down and five. Ball is on the 30-yard line. Bryson, twin receivers to the far side. One to the near side. Zena's going to be the setback. Bryson will call the signals. Bryson, play action, has time, sets up, wants to throw. Bryson gets down, and he's going to be dropped around the 30-yard line. He gets it back to the line of, that's going to be on the 20. He'll lose about nine on that play, guys. Yeah, the offensive line, you know, right now, they're just going to have to communicate and, and try to be able to counter these uh, blitzes. I mean, Miles, right now, they're mixing it up. They're sending it from every direction right now. Kajink, I could uh, concur with you on that one, but that was also a good uh, defense by the secondary for Miles College because he, he was trying to release it, and he was looking downfield a couple of times. He had a couple of options to get away, and he just couldn't get away. It, it pretty much sometimes you have a, what they call a coverage sack. You know, because the guys is covered and the quarterback can't go nowhere. He can't get anywhere. Got an injured player on the field. Let's take a pause. You're listening to the Golden Tigers Sports Network. At Hampton Law, our primary goal is to provide non-traditional yet effective solutions and redefine the approach to client legal concerns. As your trusted legal advisor, we believe in sophisticated, personalized services that eliminate the confusion and complexity sometimes associated with legal matters. Our high standard for client care and concern, coupled with our extensive legal knowledge and skills, make Hampton Law a resource focused on the protection of the client's interests and overall goals. We value our clients and truly enjoy working with them. Visit thamptonlaw.com to conveniently schedule an appointment online. Tamika Hampton Esquire, 1631 Rock Springs Road, Suite 336, Apopka, Florida, 407 494-1471 thamptonlaw.com Nope Nope 
Come on, him. Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge, featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. When it comes to professional learning, we're back live at Sloan Stadium on the campus of Miles College where the Golden Bears lead the Golden Tigers 14-7. Two minutes and 33 seconds before halftime, Golden Tigers have it third down and 15. The ball is on the 20-yard line of the Golden Tigers. Golden Tigers in a possession down situation trying to make something happen. Twin receivers to the near side. Meeks is going to be split to the near side, correction. Zena Marble is going to be in the backfield. He's the setback. Here's Bryson. Williams takes the snap. It's going to be a pass. Williams has all the time that he needs. He throws on the run, and it's going to be out of bounds. It's going to bring up a fourth down, and Ryan Duff will come in to punt it off for the Golden Tigers. Uh, Miles put a lot of pressure uh, on Bryson, and he had to throw it out, guys. And it's going to bring up a punting situation for the Golden Tigers. Golden Bears will stand inside of the 35-yard line. Duff will stand on the five, his own five yards as he punts it off to the Miles Golden Bears. 2-12, 14-7 is your score. Miles has a seven-point lead over the Golden Tigers. Here in Fairfield, here's Duff. He kicks it up, gets nice a good one off. It hangs, and it's going to be taken by Miles. And Miles is going to run back, and Golden Tigers is going to pin him back to the 34-yard line, guys. Yeah, that, that was a good play on, on special teams. And uh, I want to go back because we talked about the offensive line on that, that last Go right play. ahead. The offensive line, they really, they gave uh, Bryson a lot of time on that uh, play. But it goes back to what Ms., uh, Mr. Ken uh, Woodard said about that coverage sack. There was just nobody open downfield. So a mile secondary, uh, they're doing a good job at containing that wide receiver core for Tuskegee. Well, we still are having difficulty being visually impaired, not being able to – Read those Miles jerseys the way the sun is beaming down. But it's first and 10 for Miles on the 36-yard line. Here's the play. It's going to be a pass. Miles sets up, receives pressure. It's almost intercepted by the Golden Tigers. It's going to bring up second down as Michael King was shy of getting a handle on that football. I tell you what, he would love to see that one come, you know, as we say, keep throwing it to his side, and he'll come up with one. 14-7 is your score. A minute 55 before an exciting halftime show here in SIAC competition here in Birmingham, Alabama. Here's the play. Miles with the football has a man open, and he gets inside, crosses Midfield, and he's going to be brought down around the 47 yard line, and that's going to be good for a Miles first down. Move the chains, first down, Miles. Kenneth Kendrick. Minute 42 to go. Clock runs, first and 10 for Miles. Miles rushed heavily by the Golden Tigers, and that play is going to be stopped in the tracks. Making that stop for the Golden Tigers Vincent is number Hill, one. Number Vincent one. Hill, sophomore linebacker. Makes that stop from the linebacker position. And Miles is going to cause timeout. Let's take a break. You're listening to the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Learning. Teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center, an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. 
Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. This is Always Ultra Thin's reinvented with the Always Triple Protection System. This pad wicks gushes 90% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry, and locks odors in. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally reinvented Always Ultra Thins. This is always like never before. Second down and 10, Miles with the football. Here's the play. It's a pass. It's going to be inside a wheel route, and it's going to be good for a Miles first down as Miles moves the football. It'll be first and 10 from the 35-yard line of the Golden Tigers. Miles on a quick play, quick offense, first and 10 from the 35-yard line. Miles with the football. They lead the ball game 14-7. Here's a play. It's a pass. Miles sets up, wants to throw, has a man open, and he's going to be pushed out of bounds around the 27-yard line, and Miles is quickly moving the football downfield. Yeah, one thing, the Miles wide receivers, I can tell they're, they're really well coached. Um, that first move that they make after they catch the ball, it seems to be giving our defenders a little bit of trouble in, in getting that tackle. Line. Second down and two from the 27-yard line. Miles leads the ball game 14-7. And somebody moved on the line. There are a host of flags and a lot of laundry on the field, guys. Procedure call is going to be against, let's see, it's going to be against Miles. Five yards assessed against the Golden Bears. It's going to move it back inside. It's going to move it to the 30 three-yard line. It'll be a minute and three to go before halftime. 14-7 is your score. Second down for Miles. Second and seven. Ball is on the 32-yard line of the Golden Tigers. Miles with the football from the 32. Here's the play. Sets up. Wants to throw. Finds a man open. It's going to be caught on the 30-yard line. Two-yard gain as Miles inches it up. It's going to bring up second down for the Golden Bears. 56 ticks before halftime. Miles leads it 14-7. And timeout call. Let's take a break. You're listening to the Golden Tigers Sports Network. The Cuvée Group is a Florida-based marketing and training consulting firm. We help businesses communicate to their target audience and engage them in conversation. We also help to expand their audiences, which will ultimately result in growth for those organizations. In addition to being a certified constant contact specialist, my colleagues and I are also certified in John Maxwell leadership principles. We use these proven principles to conduct workshops, training, and private coaching sessions for individuals and companies looking to take things to the next level. Contact us to schedule a free consultation. Issues today, don't delay, call Cuvay. We're back to live action from Sloan Stadium in Fairfield, Alabama, where the Miles Golden Bears lead the Golden Tigers 14-7. Third down and two for Miles. Miles with the football. Here's a play. Miles fumbles the ball, and let's see who will come up with it. The Golden Tigers are saying they have it. And let's look and see what the officials would say. Golden Tigers recover the fumble and another turnover by Miles. And the Golden Tigers will take advantage of it. And the Tigers will have it first and 10 from the 30-yard line. Ken and Kendrick, big turnover for the Golden Tigers. Golden Tigers will have 50 seconds to drive. And that's what we need. But um, the Golden Tiger defense, they're known for this all season. You know, th th to be honest with you, we have to just admit it. At this point, this is our type of game. This is what Tuskegee likes. To, um, uh, we're getting there. We're scrapping in games. And we're able to get those turnovers um, when we need them. And so hopefully the, the offense can come out uh, and see if we can get at least three before the half. 
50 seconds before halftime. Frank Lee, Ken Woodard, and Kendrick Hooks as the Golden Tigers captivate a Miles turnover. Bryson will have it first and 10 from the 30-yard line. Twin receivers either side. Here's Bryson. Sets up. Bryson has time. Rolls to his left. Throws it. It's caught. Oh, yeah, Inside Meeks picks it in. Gets it to the 30 four-yard line. To actually, no, it's going to be the 44-yard line. That glare is giving me a hard time. Bryson 35 wins. seconds. Bryson on a quick count. Bryson sets up. It's a pass. Sets up. Has time. Throws. And Bryson will slide down. He'll stop the clock. And it looks like it's going to be pretty close, but not quite close enough for a Golden Tiger first down. Timeout calls. Let's pause. You're listening to the Golden Tiger Sports Network. As technology continues to bring changes to the world of education, it's time we also reimagine teacher professional development. Gone are the days of one-size-fits-all learning that can only be accessed at a specific time and place. The Stride PD Center is an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that allow educators to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. The best professional development plans are those that include a level of flexibility and choice for educators. Whether you're a teacher, school, or district, visit us today to take charge of your learning. Second down and five, 22 ticks before halftime. Golden Tigers have it on the miles, 49-yard line. Golden Tigers trying to make something happen with 22 seconds before halftime. Here's Bryson. Takes his time on a long count. Sends his receivers wide. Bryson has Meeks, and Meeks still on his feet. 16 seconds to go before halftime. Clock stops. It's going to be a first down. It'll be first and 10. Well, no, let's, let's go back. No, it's not a first down. They stopped the clock, and then... They Miles stopped the clock, which indicated it is a first down. I, I, you know, we do have a glare, but I did think it was a first down, and it is. They're going to have to reset the clock. Give us that time back. But Miles is playing a... a well, they're going to say it. No, it's second down. It's uh, That's just a mix-up on that. It seems as if they will set the clock. Well, let's, I would think they would, but let's see what will happen. 14-7, clock is showing nine seconds. It looks like they won't reset it. No, they won't. 14-7 is your score, nine seconds before halftime. And Miles will call a timeout. Let's take a break with nine seconds before halftime. 14-7 is your score. You're listening to the Golden Tiger Sports Network. It's never too early to plant the seed, to share the tradition, and instill a sense of pride in your HBCU with your little ones. HBCU Pride and Joy Children's Boutique helps you share your school spirit with a wide selection of adorable kids' apparel and accessories officially licensed from your favorite HBCU. Visit HBCUPrideJoy.com and follow us on all social media at HBCU Pride Joy on Facebook and Twitter. This is Ryan Fulford. A.D. Drew and I are co-hosts of the BCSN Sports Wrap. We talk about all things related to HBCU athletics. From the games, teams, coaches, and fan interest stories, we cover it all. You can find our shows on Facebook at BCSN Sports Wrap, YouTube at MyJBN Online, and everywhere you listen to podcasts like Anchor, Spotify, Google, and Apple. We're back to live action from Sloan Stadium. Golden Tigers 14, Mile 7, second down. Ball on the 30-yard line, 39, nine seconds to go. Bryson sets up, has time, throws it, and he has a man outside, and he's going to be, did he get it? Did they say he was in? Yes, they did. The clock stopped with a second left. And Lorcan Ryan will come in to attempt a field goal with one second to go, 14-7, is your score. Ryan's is good from this range. 
Ryan Duff will hold. He can make it 10. Here's the field goal attempt by Lorcan Ryans. And uh, the Golden Tigers will call timeout. With one second to go before halftime, your score, Miles 14, Tuskegee 7. You're listening to the Golden Tigers Sports Network. You can also find the show on the Jericho Broadcast Network's app. Make sure to download. We look forward to you joining the conversation and being a part of the show. I'm returning to Clinton, Paris, and Tampa's my community. I grew up here, went to school here, and my wife and I make our home here. What makes Tampa special are its people. So when I represent someone injured in my community, it's personal. Call my office and speak to a real lawyer and not some referral service. I will fight the insurance companies to get the settlement that you deserve. At the Law Office of Clinton Paris, we take the pain out of being hurt. Since 2002, Empowerment Live action. Lorcan Ryans with the second left will attempt a field goal for the Golden Tigers. Here's the field goal. It's up. And it's good. Golden <laughs> Tigers kick a field goal with the second left. They'll go in the locker room with a 14-10 score. Miles will have a four-point edge over the Golden Tigers. It's halftime, and let's pause for commercial messages. This is the Golden Tigers Sports Network. Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Kevers Voice time and time again. Conversational, powerhouse, intelligent, and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K-E-A-V-E-R-S-V-O-I-C-E dot com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Nope. Nope. You want him? Ooh, I like him. <laughs> quick, the quicker picker upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. Itchy, squirmy, scratchy, family not getting clean? Get Charmin Ultra Strong. Go get them! It just cleans better. With a diamond weave texture, your family can use less while still getting clean. Goodbye, itchy squirm. Hello, clean bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? At Hampton Law, our primary goal is to provide non-traditional yet effective solutions and redefine the approach to client legal concerns. As your trusted legal advisor, we believe in sophisticated, personalized services that eliminate the confusion and complexity sometimes associated with legal matters. 
Our high standard for client care and concern, coupled with our extensive legal knowledge and skills, make Hampton Law a resource focused on the protection of the client's interest and overall goals. We value our clients and truly enjoy working with them. Visit thamptonlaw.com to conveniently schedule an appointment online. Tamika Hampton Esquire, 1631 Rock Springs Road, Suite 336, Apopka, Florida, 407 407- 494-1471 thamptonlaw.com Nope. Nope. Come on, him? Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High-quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge, featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. When it comes to professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center, an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. This is Always Ultra Thin's reinvented with the Always Triple Protection System. This pad wicks gushes 90% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry, and locks odors in. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally reinvented Always Ultra Thins. This is always like never before. The Cuvée Group is a Florida-based marketing and training consulting firm. We help businesses communicate to their target audience and engage them in conversation. We also help to expand their audiences, which will ultimately result in growth for those organizations. In addition to being a certified constant contact specialist, my colleagues and I are also certified in John Maxwell Leadership Principles. We use these proven principles to conduct workshops, training, and private coaching sessions for individuals and companies looking to take things to the next level. Contact us to schedule a free consultation. Issues today, don't delay, call Cuvée. As technology continues to bring changes to the world of education, it's time we also reimagine teacher professional development. Gone are the days of one-size-fits-all learning that can only be accessed at a specific time and place. The Stride PD Center is an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that allow educators to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. The best professional development plans are those that include a level of flexibility and choice for educators. Whether you're a teacher, school, or district, visit us today to take charge of your learning. It's never too early to plant the seed, to share the tradition, and instill a sense of pride in your HBCU with your little ones. HBCU Pride and Joy Children's Boutique helps you share your school spirit with a wide selection of adorable kids apparel and accessories officially licensed from your favorite HBCU. Visit HBCUPrideJoy.com and follow us on all social media at HBCU Pride Joy on Facebook and Twitter. This is Ryan Fulford. A.D. Drew and I are co-hosts of the BCSN Sports Wrap. We talk about all things related to HBCU athletics. From the games, teams, coaches, and fan interest stories, we cover it all. You can find our shows on Facebook at BCSN Sports Wrap, YouTube at MyJBN Online, and everywhere you listen to podcasts like Anchor, Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. You can also find the show on the Jericho Broadcast Network's app. 
make sure to download. We look forward to you joining the conversation and being a part of the show. I'm returning to Clinton, Paris, and Tampa's my community. I grew up here, went to school here, and my wife and I make our home here. What makes Tampa special are its people. So when I represent someone injured in my community, it's personal. Call my office and speak to a real lawyer and not some referral service. I will fight the insurance companies to get the settlement that you deserve. At the Law Office of Clinton Paris, we take the pain out of being hurt. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Kevers Voice time and time again. Conversational. Powerhouse, intelligent and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K E A V E R S V O I C E dot com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Nope. Nope. Come on, him. Ooh, I like him. The Quicker Picker Upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the Quicker Picker Upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge, featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. Itchy, squirmy, scratchy, family not getting clean. Get Charmin Ultra Strong. Go get them. It just cleans better with a diamond weave texture your family can use less while still getting clean. Goodbye, itchy squirm. Hello, clean bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? At Hampton Law, our primary goal is to provide non-traditional yet effective solutions and redefine the approach to client legal concerns. As your trusted legal advisor, we believe in sophisticated, personalized services that eliminate the confusion and complexity sometimes associated with legal matters. Our high standard for client care and concern, coupled with our extensive legal knowledge and skills, make Hampton Law a resource focused on the protection of the client's interests and overall goals. We value our clients and truly enjoy working with them. Visit thamptonlaw.com to conveniently schedule an appointment online. Tamika Hampton Esquire. 1631 Rock Springs Road, Suite 336, Apopka, Florida, 407-494-1471. thhamptonlaw.com. Nope. Nope. Come on, him. Ooh, I like him. The Quicker Picker Upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the Quicker Picker Upper. 
From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. When it comes to professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center, an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. This is Always Ultra Thin's reinvented with the Always Triple Protection System. This pad wicks gushes 90% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry, and locks odors in. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally reinvented Always Ultra Thins. This is always like never before. The Cuvée Group is a Florida-based marketing and training consulting firm. We help businesses communicate to their target audience and engage them in conversation. We also help to expand their audiences, which will ultimately result in growth for those organizations. In addition to being a certified constant contact specialist, my colleagues and I are also certified in John Maxwell Leadership Principles. We use these proven principles to conduct workshops, training, and private coaching sessions for individuals and companies looking to take things to the next level. Contact us to schedule a free consultation. Issues today, don't delay, call Cuvay. As technology continues to bring changes to the world of education, it's time we also reimagine teacher professional development. Gone are the days of one-size-fits-all learning that can only be accessed at a specific time and place. The Stride PD Center is an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that allow educators to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. The best professional development plans are those that include a level of flexibility and choice for educators. Whether you're a teacher, school, or district, visit us today to take charge of your learning. It's never too early to plant the seed, to share the tradition, and instill a sense of pride in your HBCU with your little ones. HBCU Pride and Joy Children's Boutique helps you share your school spirit with a wide selection of adorable kids apparel and accessories officially licensed from your favorite HBCU. Visit HBCUPrideJoy.com and follow us on all social media at HBCU Pride Joy on Facebook and Twitter. This is Brian Fulford. A.B. Drew and I are co-hosts of the BCSN Sports Wrap. We talk about all things related to HBCU athletics. From the games, teams, coaches, and fan interest stories, we cover it all. You can find our shows on Facebook at BCSN Sports Wrap, YouTube at MyJBN Online, and everywhere you listen to podcasts like Anchor, Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. You can also find the show on the Jericho Broadcast Network's app. Make sure to download. We look forward to you joining the conversation and being a part of the show. I'm returning to Clinton, Paris, and Tampa's my community. I grew up here, went to school here, and my wife and I make our home here. What makes Tampa special are its people. So when I represent someone injured in my community, it's personal. Call my office and speak to a real lawyer and not some referral service. I will fight the insurance companies to get the settlement that you deserve. At the law office of Clinton, Paris, we take the pain out of being hurt. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax.
Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Cover's voice time and time again. Conversational, powerhouse, intelligent, and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K-E-A-V-E-R-S-V-O-I-C-E dot com. Cover's voice, Cover's voice, Cover's voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Nope. Nope. You want him? Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. Itchy, squirmy, scratchy, family not getting clean? Get Charmin Ultra Strong. Go get them! It just cleans better. With a diamond weave texture, your family can use less while still getting clean. Goodbye, itchy squirm. Hello, clean bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? At Hampton Law, our primary goal is to provide non-traditional yet effective solutions and redefine the approach to client legal concerns. As your trusted legal advisor, we believe in sophisticated, personalized services that eliminate the confusion and complexity sometimes associated with legal matters. Our high standard for client care and concern, coupled with our extensive legal knowledge and skills, make Hampton Law a resource focused on the protection of the client's interest and overall goals. We value our clients and truly enjoy working with them. Visit thamptonlaw.com to conveniently schedule an appointment online. Tamika Hampton Esquire, 1631 Rock Springs Road, Suite 336, Apopka, Florida, 407-494-1471. thamptonlaw.com. No. Nope. Nope. Come on, him? Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High-quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge, featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. When it comes to professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. This is Always Ultra Thins Reinvented with the Always Triple Protection System. 
This Padwick's Gush is 90% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry, and locks odors in. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally reinvented Always Ultra Thins. This is always like never before. The Cuvée Group is a Florida-based marketing and training consulting firm. We help businesses communicate to their target audience and engage them in conversation. We also help to expand their audiences, which will ultimately result in growth for those organizations. In addition to being a certified constant contact specialist, my colleagues and I are also certified in John Maxwell Leadership Principles. We use these proven principles to conduct workshops, training, and private coaching sessions for individuals and companies looking to take things to the next level. Contact us to schedule a free consultation. Issues today, don't delay, call Cuvay. As technology continues to bring changes to the world of education, it's time we also reimagine teacher professional development. Gone are the days of one-size-fits-all learning that can only be accessed at a specific time and place. The Stride PD Center is an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that allow educators to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. The best professional development plans are those that include a level of flexibility and choice for educators. Whether you're a teacher, school, or district, visit us today to take charge of your learning. It's never too early to plant the seed, to share the tradition, and instill a sense of pride in your HBCU with your little ones. HBCU Pride and Joy Children's Boutique helps you share your school spirit with a wide selection of adorable kids apparel and accessories officially licensed from your favorite HBCU. Visit HBCUPrideJoy.com and follow us on all social media at HBCU Pride Joy on Facebook and Twitter. This is Ryan Fulford. A.B. Drew and I are co-hosts of the BCSN Sports Wrap. We talk about all things related to HBCU athletics. From the games, teams, coaches, and fan interest stories, we cover it all. You can find our shows on Facebook at BCSN Sports Wrap, YouTube at MyJBN Online, and everywhere you listen to podcasts like Anchor, Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. You can also find the show on the Jericho Broadcast Network's app. Make sure to download. We look forward to you joining the conversation and being a part of the show. I'm returning to Clinton, Paris, and Tampa's my community. I grew up here, went to school here, and my wife and I make our home here. What makes Tampa special are its people. So when I represent someone injured in my community, it's personal. Call my office and speak to a real lawyer and not some referral service. I will fight the insurance companies to get the settlement that you deserve. At the Law Office of Clinton Paris, we take the pain out of being hurt. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow those golden bears. Miles will kick it off deep to the Golden Tigers. Here's a kick. It's going to be taken inside of the 10, the 15, the 20, the 25, the 30, the 35, and brought to the 37-yard line, returning the kickoff for the Golden Tigers. Looked like that was going to be Johnny Morris. Run, Johnny, run. I like that. They're, coming, they're going at halftime, Frank and Kendrick, and they speak on what they're going to do and how they're going to come out, and coming out with explosive um, kick return like that is something we definitely need. First and 10 for the Tuskegee University Golden Tigers. 
The ball is on the 36 yard line. Meeks and Petty are split wide. Here's Bryson on a long count. Bryson gives it to Zena. Zena goes up to gut and he'll pick up a couple for the Golden Tigers. It'll bring up second down and about eight. Golden Tigers pick up two yards on that run. Two really hard yards at that, but um, you know, Golden Tigers are not ready to abandon the run. We've had some success. You come in, you know, it's basically, you know, a zero, zero ball game. We're down uh, three points, a field goal. We're down four points, My, I'm sorry. But um, the Golden Tigers are in this game. Second down for the Golden Tigers. Ball is on the 37-yard line of Tuskegee. Bryson looks to the sideline, gets the signal. Bryson has twin receivers either side. Bryson takes the snap. It's a pass. He sets up, runs up the gut, and tries to turn it up. And Miles is going to send that blitz in again, Kendrick and Ken. Yeah, most definitely. Um, Bryson tried to escape it, but it was just too much. They were able to wrap him up. Um, you know, they're, they're giving him a little bit of time. Um, he's, going, he's going through his one and two progressions, and you see him looking down the field trying to make that play. But right now, the secondary is doing a good job, and that's allowing Miles College to get that pressure uh, on Bryson and wrap him up. Third down and 13 for the Golden Tigers. Ball is on the 34-yard line of Tuskegee. Twin receivers to the far side. One receiver to the near side. Bryson on a long count. Takes a snap. It's going to be a pass. Bryson sets up. Has time. Throws long. Has a man. It's in and out of the hands of number 14 for the Golden Tigers. That's going to be Granton Spool. And that's going to be incomplete. And the Golden Tigers will have Ryan Duff to punt it off. Duff will stand inside of the 19 yard line. Back deep for Miles is gonna be number 19. And let's see if we can get that number. That's Roosevelt Thompson. Roosevelt Thompson. Miles in absence of an SID has been, we have limited information, so we're gonna take it as we get it. Duff punts it. Lovely, lovely. Nice punch. hang time. Fair catch is called from the 33 yard line. The ball will be marched on the 33 hash mark. 11 13 03 in the third. Miles has a four point edge, 14 10 over the Golden Tigers. Yeah, and you know, uh, one of the things on that last offensive series, um, when Grant's Poole was, you know, walking off, he had his head down. Uh, Antonio Meese walked over to him, picked his head up. It's a lot of football to love to be played, so good to see that from the Golden Tigers. 13-03 in the third, first and 10 from the 32-yard line of Miles. Here's the play. Here's the gear. Play action. It's off the fingertips <laughs> of the wide receiver for Miles, and that's going to be... Let's get that number, Kendrick. Um, the pass is going to be by Ivory for Miles, and let's see if we can pull that number up for that receiver. It's going to be number one uh, for Miles. It's going to be Ja Andrews. He's their leading wide receiver um, out of Ramsey High School. Andrews drops it. It's going to be second down and 10 on the 32-yard line. Here's the give. Golden Tigers shut it down, nowhere to go. It's going to bring up third down for Miles. The ball will be placed inside of the 34-yard line. Give them two yards on that play. Third down and nine. 14-10 is your score. Ball is on the Miles 34-yard line. Ivory calling the signals for Miles. Trips to the far side. Here's Ivory. Has pressure. Aubrey gets out of the gut, throws. It's Thanks intercepted. Oh, and a draw. Intercepted in and out of the hands of, let's see who that was going to be. Number three. That's going to be number three Malik for the Moore. Golden Tigers. Malik Moore got a handle on it but couldn't hold on almost for a Golden Tiger turnover. Michael King, sophomore out of Booker T. Washington High School, stands on his own 32-yard line. He's a punt return guy for the Golden Tigers. Fourth down and eight. Ball is on the 34-yard line. Miles Punter will stand on the 20. 
King will stand on the 30. Here's the punt. He's rushed heavily. King calls for a fair catch. It'll be fair catch called. It'll be first and 10 for the Golden Tigers on the 35-yard line for Bryson and company. A, a big-time stop by the um, Golden Tigers defense on that last offensive series for Miles. I'd like to see them three and out. Yes, it can definitely, Kendrick, I must concur with you on that one, that they're um, filling each other out and they're seeing what's going to work this second half. They made some adjustments. And they seeing what's, what's working and what's not working and also on both sides of the ball. And uh, to go three and out and three and out was uh, each team, both sides is filling each other out. We're going to take a TV timeout. You're listening to the Golden Tigers Sports Network. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and parenting education coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Kevers Voice time and time again. Conversational, powerhouse, intelligent, and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K-E-A-V-E-R-S-V-O-I-C-E dot com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Nope. Nope. You want him? Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. We're back to live action. Your score, Miles 14, Tuskegee 10. Miles has the football. Correction, Golden Tigers have the football. First and 10, ball on the 35-yard line. Bryson has trips to the far side. Gives it up to gut. It's going to be a run. And... That's going to, who is that going to be? Number 21 for the Golden Tigers, the ball carrier. That's going to be Chase Sellers. Sellers in the ball game for the first time in this contest. 12, 12, point, 12, uh, 12 minutes, 11 minutes and 55 seconds in the third. 14-10 is your score. Second down and 10 for the Golden Tigers. Ball is on the Tuskegee 37-yard line. Bryson Williams has trips. To the far side, the near side, is Antonio Meeks. Here's Bryson with the signal. Bryson sets up, wants to throw, has time, has a receiver. He's open, he's on the run, gets to the 40, pushed out of bounds. Around the 37-yard line, it'll be good for a Golden Tiger first down. That play goes from the 37 to the 37. Move the change, guys. First down, Golden Tigers. Yeah, ran out of trips. Got a little misdirection going on with the linebacker, and he didn't stick with Petty that time, and Petty was able to make that catch. First and 10 from the 41-yard line of Miles. Here's Bryson. Bryson, play action, throws it out. Has a man open. He dances inside, picks up yardage. He'll pick up about five on that play. On the receiving end for the Golden Tigers, it'll be Chase Sellers coming out of backfield. I like Chase Sellers as well, with them fresh legs coming in there. Zena um, maybe giving him a little break in there. But, you know, the key thing about what Coach James does is he has worked at Arsenal. He works his whole squad. And at any time, and the guys are just excellent to step in and make great plays and excellent hustle. Trips to the far side. Meeks to the near side. Sellers is a setback. Here's a play. Bryson calling the signals for the Tigers. 
Bryson sets up, wants to throw, steps out of the pocket, flips it out, has a man open inside. It's good for Golden Tiger. First down and more. It gets to the 32-yard line. Move the change, guys. First down, Tuskegee University. And that's what you call making something out of nothing right there. That play seemed to be swallowed up by the defense as Bryson was going down. Able to still keep his eyes looking for it, always looking, for, looking downfield for open man, was able to sling that ball out there and get a first down. 947 in the third, first and 10. Golden Tigers moving swiftly down the field. Ball is on the 27-yard line of, of Miles. Trips to the far side. One receiver meets to the near side. Sellers is the back. Bryson sets up, wants to throw, has a man open. He turns the corner, still on his feet. Slips out of bounds around the 26-yard line, the 27. And he'll get it back, maybe a yard gainer on that play. And this offensive series should be uh, tight of giving what the, taking what the defense gives us. The defense is, is they're concerned about us beating them over the top, and we're just taking those five and six yards out routes and moving the ball down the field right now. Second down and nine, ball on the 27-yard line of the Golden Bears. The Bears of Miles lead the Tigers 14-10, 8-55 in the third. Bryson Williams has trips to the far side. Meeks to the near side. Here's a play. Bryson gives it up to Gutt again. It's a run. It's going to be still on his feet. Here he goes. Sellers. And I think he was going to be down. I think they, yeah. Yes. He was going to be down. I don't think he appeared to be down. I think the ground can't cause, cause a fumble. They're going to blow it dead. No fumble. Well, they're, they're going to discuss it. It looks like the ball has hit the ground, and the ground cannot cause a fumble, but we're going to see what the officials, they're deliberating. They're talking about it, and it looks as if, will Miles have it, guys? It looks like they're going to give it to Miles. The ball hit the ground and bounced up. The officials deliberated, and they called it a fumble, and they give the ball to Miles. And then on the replay there, Frank, you can see um, for the um, audience that we just doing audio on the replay, you can you can see that as well, Frank. Yeah, and uh, this is a good time to interject the SIAC. There are other Division II conferences that have need that replay. replay. And, uh, yeah, the replay shows that the ball did hit the ground, but the officials gave it to Miles. Miles will take over first and ten from the twenty-two yard line. And uh, a bad break for the Golden Tigers, guys. And that was a really promising drive right there uh, for the Golden Tigers. But, hey, um, we've seen some things. And um, I think the Golden Tigers are in good shape when they do get the ball back to uh, march the ball back down the field. Defense is going to have to rise for the occasion. We almost had one interception earlier. And now we'll let's see what this defense will work it. 8.36 in the third, 14-10 is your score. Albany State defeated um, Fort Valley over in the Fountain City Classic, and that makes it a little easier if the Golden Tigers can get by the Golden Bears guys here in Fairfield, here in Sloan Stadium, in this heavily contested SIAC contest here in Fairfield, Alabama. You know, Frank, uh, the SIAC released three scenarios uh, I saw those. Early, early in the week, and um, the, the one takeaway um, for Tuskegee, win. That, that basically is to win it. And, you know, there's been a lot of discussion about that first game uh, in the Red Tails Classic where the Golden Tigers faced and defeated the Fort Valley State Wildcats. It was a considered a non-conference game because of the uh, classic a part of it. It was, a play, it was played outside the mandatory conference game. So that could have been a controversy. But uh, Albany State defeating Fort Valley in the Fountain City Classic makes it a little easier for the Golden Tigers to claim a trip up I-85 if they can get by the Golden Bears this uh, weekend here in Miles. But it's going to have to be hard fought because this ball game still has a lot of time. 836 Miles has a four-point edge over the Golden Tigers, Kendrick and Ken. 
you know, but once again, it's rivalry week in the SIAC. This is one of the best rivalries in Division II football between Miles College and Tuskegee University. Um, you take about last year a double overtime thriller, and it's setting up to be another close, as as Ken would say, uh, another nail biter. Eight thirty six in the third. Miles takes over after the Golden Tigers let the ball slip out and fumble. First and 10, the ball is on the 22-yard line of the Golden Bears. Ivory calls the signals for Miles. Ivory on a long count. Ivory is chased down, tries to throw on the run, and it's going to be off the fingertips of the intended receiver, broken up by none other than Michael King. The secondary has really stiffened up for Tuskegee. Um, you saw right before halftime, Miles was kind of slicing us up, carving us up um, in that secondary, but good adjustment by the coaching staff to come out in the second half and tighten up. Second down and 10 for the Golden Bears. They're operating from their own 22-yard line. Third quarter action, 8.30 to go in the third, 14-10 is your score. Here's Ivory. Ivory flips it out in the flats, has a receiver open. It's going to get inside. It'll pick up about five yards on that play. It'll bring up third down for Miles. And these are the downs we like to see. Third down, get off the field, get your offense back on the field. They had a good drive going on here. Get that ball back to them, see if they can keep that same mojo. Third down and six. That play good for four yards. It brings it to the 27-yard line of the Golden Bears. 8.01 in the third, 14-10 is your score. Here's Ivory, has receivers, twin to the near side. One receiver split to the far side. Here's Ivory. Ivory steps up, wants to throw. It's going to be off the fingertips of that primary receiver. That's number one, Kendrick, for miles. And the, and the Golden Bears will have to punt it back off to the Golden Tigers and deep. Uh, for Tuskegee University will be the sophomore from Booker T. Washington High School, Michael King. Yes, Frank. And um, what I got to give the credit to the Golden Tigers defense, you know, come out there where uh, Miles had an opportunity to, to uh, get the ball down the field, and the defense rose to the occasion and made a good, great, great defensive effort on three and out. Miles punts it from its own 10-yard line. King stands on the 40. Here's a punt. Gets a, gets a lot of hang time. And King will let it roll, does a smart thing. It'll be pushed down, and they'll spot it inside of the 30-yard line. Miles tried to kick it a little and tried to edge it up a little bit, guys. But that's an old trick, and that dog won't hunt. Yeah, take that dog and put him back on the truck. <laughs> Uh, give him an A for effort. Yeah, that, that biscuit will not get any gravy. 7.35. <laughs> I like that one. I hadn't heard that one in a long time, Ken. 7.35 in the third. 14.10 is your score. Miles out front by four, but the Golden Tigers will operate first and 10. They'll have an opportunity from their own 31-yard line. Well, we mentioned earlier that Fort Valley State failed to Albany today. Albany State uh, beat the Wildcats over in the Fountain City Classic and that makes it a little easier for the Golden Tigers to take that ride. Kendrick and Ken up 85 north to Atlanta next week if they can get by these Golden Bears. Yeah, and that's the main thing. Getting by the Golden Bears. But you know what? It's, this is this time of year. We like this kind of atmosphere, this game. A wonderful crowd on deck. For this, for this game, and uh, both teams are just really hungry for a win. I know Miles, you know, a complete turnaround, hats off to Coach Shade. They were 1-9 last year, and it's a team that turned around, they knocked off an FCS opponent in our rival, Alabama State University. Um, and basically right there in the SIAC hunt for the championship game until last week, but um, when their starting quarterback got knocked out. So can't say enough about this Miles team and uh, the program that has been built here um, and see Coach Shea continue that success, but I just hope he's not successful today. 66 degrees from Sloan Stadium on the campus of Miles College. The venue is Fairfield, Alabama. Your score, Miles 14, Tuskegee 10 with seven minutes and 35 seconds in the third. It'll be first and 10 for the Golden Tigers. 
They'll operate from their own 31-yard line. Well, Kendrick, I know Benedict played Allen today. Tell us about what happened in that contest. Yeah, that was a game. Um, that's a rivalry game. They're right next to each other. Uh, they call it the battle for heart and strength. Uh, but Benedict was able to overpower um, Allen again, 37-9 um, to nine in, in that game. Sending Benedict up for that first slot in the championship game. And uh, we're here fighting it out for that second slot right now. 14-10 is your score. First and 10. From the 31-yard line, Bryson has a man in motion. Bryson claps his hand, flips it out, tosses it to the, to the outside, and it's going to pick up yardage. It'll get inside of the 38. It's going to be a seven-yard gain by the Golden Tigers. Looks like one of those interior linemen lost his headgear. He's going to have to go out of the ball game, but they'll send in a replacement. Number 78 comes in the ball game for the Golden Tigers. And that's going to be Justin Bryant comes in the ball game uh, to replace his fellow Golden Tiger teammate who lost his headgear. Second down and three. That play good for seven. Ball is on the 38-yard line of the Golden Tigers. Bryson Williams, the Southpaw senior, calling the signals here in Fairfield at Sloan Stadium. Bryson calls his own number, and he'll get pretty close. His forward progress will get him maybe a couple yards shy of a first down. Yeah, you know, um, there's a couple times these whistles have kind of be, been healed um, that time, but the Delayed. whistles have been blown. Um, I'm surprised not to see the flag right there, especially how we protect the quarterbacks in this game today. 632 in the third, your score, Miles 14, Tuskegee 10. And Bryson goes over to the sideline. And uh, Roberson will come in to give him a breather, a little shaken up on that play. The training staff will look him over. Roberson, who has uh, been a backup guy, came in earlier in the season when Bryson was, was out hurt and has had a promising uh, career as a relief quarterback for the Tigers. Here's Roberson calling the signals. Roberson, twin receivers either side. Roberson gives it back, and it's going to be broken up in the backfield. That's going to be number 23, Zena. Zena Malba, on the run for the Golden Tigers. He's going to get caught back in the backfield, and that's going to bring in Ryan Duff. He'll have to punt it off for the Golden Tigers. 546 in the third. Ball game still 14-10. Duff will stand on the 12, the Miles punt return guy will be on the 33-yard line. That was a textbook read by Miles College uh, defense, and the defensive corner, they called the excellent blitz to that side, and to the near, near side for Tuskegee goes. And, and Miles jumped off sides, Ken, and that's going to be a no-no. It's not enough for a first down, but it looks it's uh, – it's enough to, to get them back, backed up a little bit so our, our Golden Tigers defense can um, make some plays and get the, get the change of field direction because um, – It moves it up five yards and yes. Duff will move to his 25-yard line. Ryan Duff, senior a punter, has had an impressive year for the Golden Tigers and has, hasn't had a press, impressive career as a Golden Tiger punter. Here is Ryan Duff. He punts it off, gets a lot of hang time. It's going to be, it will go out of bounds around the 34-yard line. And the Miles Golden Bears will have it first and 10. Uh, they'll get a spot. Looks like inside of the, we'll see where they'll mark it. It's going to be marked on the 25-yard line. Third quarter action. Your score, Miles 14, Tuskegee 10. Miles will come back with quarterback... Cameron Ivory will be calling the signals for the Golden Bears. Still a little difficult to read these numbers uh, here in a kind of a dim Sloan Stadium. But 515 in the third. First and 10 for Miles. Ball is on the 25 yard line of the Golden Bears. And Ivory drops the ball, picks it up, but tries to make something happen. He gets it maybe back to the line of scrimmage, Ken Kendrick and Ken. 
Yeah, good hits a play by him, you know, to get that ball and still try to, you know, make some out of that. But um, good job by the Golden Tiger defense to keep contained um, and kind of get pressure on him so he couldn't uh, really escape and get a big run like he's got a couple times today. 447, second down and eight. Ball is on the 25 yard line. Ivory calling the signals. Twin receivers either side for Miles. Ivory, backup quarterback for Miles. Calling the signals is Ivory on a long count. Ivory sets up, it's a pass, receives pressure, and Ivory throws long. It's gonna be almost intercepted, but it's gonna be caught in the crowd. He spins around and Miles gets a touchdown. Can you believe it? Can you believe it, guys? He eluded two receivers. It was almost intercepted, and Miles picks up that touchdown. Kiss there. Um, if there was a highlight, that would definitely be a, a, a sports center top 10 highlight. Was able to go up there, high point the ball, came down over two defenders, and was able to twin and twirl his way into the end zone. Miles picks up a touchdown. We have a 2010 ball game, and the Golden Bears will try the PAT. That's definitely a classic example of the hungry dogs get the ball. You know, we got some young guys back there in the secondary, and they definitely uh, learning, their, um, getting their history to them. Here's a PAT. It's up. It's good. And Miles takes a 21-10 lead over the Golden Tigers, 11-point edge on what was an outstanding catch by the Golden Bears. And he found his way, pulled it down, and marched in for six. And your score, Miles 21, Tuskegee 10, guys. I'm like, I got to give uh, credit with Miles. I mean, because we had a great defense set up. We, they, it was in double coverage. They had, they had him double coverage. They were anticipating it going deep. And, um, and catch that ball at the highest point. And sometimes you miss judging. You got to be a you got to be a, a baseball player sometime out there. Frank, Kendrick, you got you to be like, and catch the ball at the highest point. Go up and get it. And that's what Miles did that time. Great, four minutes. Great second effort. Great second effort on breaking the tackle as well. I'm sorry, Ken. Four minutes and 14 seconds in the third. Miles goes up 21-10. 11 point edge against the Golden Tigers. Here's the kickoff. It's going to be taken at the five, the ten, the fifteen, the twenty, the twenty-five. King goes up to the seventeen yard line. It'll be first and ten for the Golden Tigers. And that's going to be not Michael King. Let's see who that's going to be on that kickoff return. And this, this is, you know, to get that momentum, momentum change, Frank, Kendrick, we definitely need to go up top. I can see us going up, very up top, taking it up top to silence the fans a little bit and get this morale change and change the momentum of the team. Because right now, Miles College is playing off momentum and energy. Dondre Harvey on that kickoff return. First and 10 for the Golden Tigers from their own 17 yard line. Roberson in for the Tigers. Roberson, play action, sets up, wants to throw. It's gonna be off the fingertips, almost in the hands of the Golden Bears. And it was off the fingertips, almost another turnover for the Tigers. Can't have those kind of turnovers at this point in the contest. That was almost a really costly throw. Um, you know, Robinson, he's coming into the game. He got to settle down with Bryson going out. Um, just got to settle down, make the quick read, make the easy read. Golden Tigers trips to the near side. One receiver to the far side. Here's Roberson. Sets up, wants to throw, has a man open. He finds his receiver. That's going to be Corey Petty, and Petty gets it. He'll get it to the 25-yard line. It'll be second down and about five. And just like that, that's, that's what you want your young quarterback to come in and do after your starter goes down. Come in, make the easy reach. Don't make it. Don't put the ball in harm's way and uh, corral your troops and lead your troops down the field. 3:32 in the third. 21-10 is your score. Roberson trips to the far side and there's a flag it looks like maybe too much time delay of game 
Five yards assessed against the Golden Tigers. Replay the down. Three twenty-three in the third. Miles comes up with a touchdown. They have a twenty-one. 10 edge over the Golden Tigers here in Sloan Stadium here in Birmingham. Roberson comes in the ball game to replace Bryson Williams. No, that's Bryson back. Is that Bryson back? Let me let me know that's still let, let me see. I I'm it's having set an angle right now. It is set an angle, we'll tell you. Bit, yes. No, that's gonna be Roberson. He is. It's going to be in and out of the hands, and Roberson will be, remain in the ball game. And that, that uh, catch was in and out of the hands of number 13, DeAndre Harvey. And that's going to bring in Ryan Duff. And Duff will have to punt it off to the, the Golden Bears. Duff will stand on his five miles. The kickoff return guy will be on the 45-yard line. And Ryan Duff, guys, has been a busy guy this afternoon here in Birmingham and Fairfield. And this is one of his best plays. I hope this is one is he, he get, has great hang time on his kick and distance. Um, let's get, can put them both together, have some hang time and distance on there and get a forward bounce. Ryan and there we go. gets that hang time, Ken. And it's going to be fair catch is going to be called from the 43. And quarterback Ivory will have it first and 10. The officials will mark it on the hash mark. It's around the 43-yard line. We need the Golden Tiger defense to come up big right here. Uh, we, we ask that of them every game. Um, and we need them to come up big here with the turnover. I'm, I'm thinking of my repeat interceptions right here. 2.53 in the third. Bears 21, Tigers 10. Here in Fairfield, Miles has quarterback Ivory calling the signals for Miles. 2.53, here's Ivory. Ivory sets up, wants to throw, has a man open, and it's caught inside the 45. He runs down, and second and third effort takes him down to the 17-yard line, and we saw a duplication, Kendrick and Ken, of what happened last time, second and third effort. And Miles gets inside deep in Golden Tiger territory. Their market on the 19-yard line. That's a big tight end. They got out there running that ball. He, he ran that ball, and he was horsing it, and he just ran out of the arms. Ivory has it first and 10 for Miles. Ivory turns it up, has it open, and Ivory runs down, gets it inside of the 8-yard line, and Miles is plowing down here against the Golden Tigers. Yeah, right now the momentum is just swung in, um, in uh, Miles' favor, and they're taking full advantage of it. Miles with the football inside. Here's Miles. They give it inside, and, and the Bears scores. will score. Touchdown, Miles. Miles converts over, picks up another touchdown. We have a 27-10 ball game with a minute and 40 to go in the third, and Miles knocks on the door again with another touchdown. 27-10 is your score with a minute 40 to go in the third. Here's a PAT attempt by the Golden Bears. Here's a point after attempt by Miles. It's up. They split them. It's good. Miles. 28. Tuskegee 10. And Miles moved the ball quickly down the field and picked up another touchdown. Kendrick and Ken, we got a 28-10 ball game. Yeah, you know, um, on, on that drive, they just they hit us with that tight end. They've used that tight end a couple times, and the size and the strength of that tight end just really showed, and we could not bring him down. And then the quarterback um, inched him a little bit closer, and then they just gave it off to the running back. Um, well put together drive by Miles. Hope the Golden Tigers can come, you know, um, kind of get the mojo back right here with a big return on special teams. Going to have to do it quickly. Minute 40 to go in the third. 28-10, you should score Miles out. Up front by 18 against the Golden Tigers. 
Miles will kick it off again to the Golden Tigers. Three men deep for Tuskegee. And the Golden Tigers trying to quickly make something happen. They're going to let it go in the end zone. It'll be first and 10 for the Golden Tigers from the 25-yard line. And, and but one thing, Kendrick and uh, Brain Cobb, I got to say, you know, um, Miles do have a momentum right now, but we still have a no, whole nother quarter, fourth quarter. And I, I know the coaches and um, uh, Coach Aaron James has is, is got the winning attitude, attitude, Coach Powell, Watson, and those guys don't, don't quit. And just the same thing they did in the third quarter, we can do in the fourth quarter, and we can have, we have us a ball game going. As long as you got time on the clock, you got a chance to win. And... There is going to be Miles is 6-1, and one, so they are definitely a, a winning team, and they make plays, and they're going to make plays. You cannot stop a winning team like Miles with the momentum they have and the coaching staff they have. You cannot stop them on the momentum. Minute 40 in the third, first and 10 for the Tigers. Here's Roberson. Finds a man open. It's going to be caught by the Golden Tigers. On the receiving end for Tuskegee University is going to be number 12. That's going to be Corey Petty. It's going to bring up second down for the Golden Tigers. That play good for four yards, second down and six. Ball is on the 25-yard line of the Golden Tigers. A minute, 15 seconds in the third. Miles 28, Tuskegee 10, and the Golden Tigers trying to make something happen quickly. Tigers, twin receivers either side. Roberson calling the signals, has a man in motion. Long count. Roberson. Takes the snap, drops back, has time. There we go. Unloads it long. It's going to be incomplete. Looked for Antonio Meeks, and he just about had a lead on him, but it was a little bit overthrown, and Meeks did his best to catch it inbounds. I like that, but, and, and Frank and Kendrick, I got to tell you, uh, I like the way Meeks come at. We can see that play again. The cornerback act like he he did something on on the play. That was that wasn't his coverage that he did. It was it was it was the throw that was off. They could run that play again, and that, that definitely be a catch for us. And we headed down the field with a score. Third down and six for the Golden Tigers. Trips to the far side. One receiver to the near side. Here's Roberson. A long count. Roberson sets up. Wants to throw. Has a man open. Go. It's caught inside, and he will dance around the sideline. Move the chains. First down, Golden <laughs> Tigers. And let's see who that's on the receiving end. We're still, you know, the, the, the lights here are making it very difficult. And it's not my eyes, guys. I think you all are experiencing the same thing. Let's see who that, that receiver is going to be. That's going to be Grandis Poole on the catch for the Golden Tigers. And good for a Golden Tiger first down as Poole catches it. It'll be marked on the 45-yard line of the Golden Bears. 17 ticks before fourth and final quarter. Here's Roberson. Sets up. Has time. It's going to be in and out of the hands of the Golden Tigers. That's going to be Grannis Poole. Same play to the opposite side. Great defense by the Golden Bears. Second down and 10. Precise football is what Coach Aaron James wants his team to play now. Mistake free. Ball. Second down for the Golden Tigers. Ball on the 44-yard line of the Golden Bears. 28-10, miles up by 18. Golden Tigers trying to get back in this ball game to earn a trip to Atlanta next week. Nine seconds in the, in the third. Here is Roberson, throws long, and that was a little misdirection. Meeks had his man beat, but there was a mix-up on that pass route. Yeah, and then, you know, that's coming. You know, you got a, a young quarterback coming in trying to step in and fill the roles for Bryson. Um, he has some experience, but just got to settle in and get in the rhythm, rhythm of the game. Bryson injured, and Roberson came in to relieve him. Two ticks before the fourth and final period of this ball game. 
Third down and 10. Ball is on the 44-yard line. Either side, Roberson. The setback in the ball game. Let's go. Let's hear. Here's the play. Roberson claps. Sets up, has time. Rolls to his right. Throws long. It's going to be... Did he... In and out of the hands. Incomplete. They definitely brought that pressure. Um, uh, Bear, the Golden Bears brought that pressure. Miles College Golden Bears brought that pressure. And he had Fourth to rush down that and 10 uh, for Good the job. Golden Tigers. And uh, looks like the Golden Tigers are going to have to go back in punt formation. At the end of the fourth quarter, Miles 28, Tuskegee 10. Let's pause. You're listening to the Golden Tigers Sports Network. From novice to aficionado. Find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. Itchy. Squirmy, scratchy, family not getting clean, get Charmin Ultra Strong. Go get them. It just cleans better. With a diamond weave texture, your family can use less while still getting clean. Goodbye, itchy squirm. Hello, clean bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? At Hampton Law, our primary goal is to provide non-traditional yet effective solutions and redefine the approach to client legal concerns. As your trusted legal advisor, we believe in sophisticated, personalized services that eliminate the confusion and complexity sometimes associated with legal matters. Our high standard for client care and concern, coupled with our extensive legal knowledge and skills, make Hampton Law a resource focused on the protection of the client's interest and overall goals. We value our clients and truly enjoy working with them. Visit thamptonlaw.com to conveniently schedule an appointment online. Tamika Hampton Esquire, 1631 Rock Springs Road, Suite 336, Apopka, Florida, 407-494-1471. thamptonlaw.com. Nope. Nope. You want him? Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge, featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. When it comes to professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. We're back to live action in Sloan Stadium where the Golden Tigers trail miles 28 10. Here's Ryan Duff. He'll punt it off to the Miles Golden Bears. Fair catch is called. Miles will operate first and 10 from the 13 yard line. They lead the Golden Tigers 28 10, 14 minutes and 55 seconds in the final period of this ball game. 18 point edge by the Golden Bears. They have the football, they have it first and 10 from the 14 yard line. Quarterback Miles Ivory. Ivory will call the signals for the Golden Bears. First and 10 from the 14. Here's Ivory. Ivory gives it up. 
and it's going to be a run, and they run out of bounds. They may pick up a yard, Kendrick and Ken, on that play. Yes, yeah, so we have an injury out there, uh, Frank. And Got an injured golden bear yeah. on the football, and while they're attending to that injury, we'll take a break. Your score, Miles 28, Tuskegee 10. You're listening to the Golden Tiger Sports Network. If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. This is Always Ultra Thins reinvented with the Always Triple Protection System. This pad wicks gushes 90% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry, and locks odors in. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally reinvented Always Ultra Thins. This is always like never before. The Cuvée Group is a Florida-based marketing and training consulting firm. We help businesses communicate to their target audience and engage them in conversation. We also help to expand their audiences, which will ultimately result in growth for those organizations. In addition to being a certified constant contact specialist, my colleagues and I are also certified in John Maxwell Leadership Principles. We use these proven principles to conduct workshops, training, and private coaching sessions for individuals and companies looking to take things to the next level. Contact us to schedule a free consultation. Issues today, don't delay, call Cuvay. As technology continues to bring changes to the world of education, it's time we also reimagine teacher professional development. Gone are the days of one-size-fits-all learning that can only be accessed at a specific time and place. The Stride PD Center is an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that allow educators to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. The best professional development plans are those that include a level of flexibility and choice for educators. Whether you're a teacher, school, or district, Visit us today to take charge of your learning. It's never too early to plant the seed, to share the tradition, and instill a sense of pride in your HBCU with your little ones. HBCU Pride and Joy Children's Boutique helps you share your school spirit with a wide selection of adorable kids' apparel and accessories officially licensed from your favorite HBCU. Visit HBCUPrideJoy.com and follow us on all social media at HBCU Pride Joy on Facebook and Twitter. This is Brian Fulford. A.D. Drew and I are co-hosts of the BCSN Sports Wrap. We talk about all things related to HBCU athletics. From the games, teams, coaches, and fan interest stories, we cover it all. You can find our shows on Facebook at BCSN Sports Wrap, YouTube at MyJBN Online, and everywhere you listen to podcasts like Anchor, Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. You can also find the show on the Jericho Broadcast Network's app. Make sure to download. We look forward to you joining the conversation and being a part of the show. We're back to live action from Sloan Stadium in Fairfield, Alabama. Miles has a football. Miles throws out. Throws in the, throws a screen, and they're going to get down. They're going to be shy of the first down. Golden Tiger defense fighting, but they may have a first down, guys. I think they do have it. First and 10 for the Golden Bears. They'll move it to the 25-yard line. First down, Miles. 14-18 in the ball game. 28-10 is your score. Here in Fairfield, we're at Sloan Stadium where the Golden Bears lead the Golden Tigers 28-10. Here's quarterback Ivory. Trips to the near side. One receiver to the far side. Here's a play. And Miles gives it up again. It's a big run. They pick up another first down. Move the chains. They move it to the 37-yard line. First down, Miles. Thirteen minutes and thirty-four seconds in the ball game. Twenty-eight ten is your score. Miles out front by eighteen points against the Golden Tigers. Determining factor for the championship game for the Tigers. Here's Ivory. Ivory 
throws on the run, has that number one receiver. He gets to the 45-yard line, another first down for Miles. And I've got to say this about Ivory. He hung in there. He knew we were going to take the lead, took a solid lick, and was still able to throw that ball and uh, get the completion. Move the chains, first down, Miles, 28-10 with 12.57 in the ball game. First and 10 from the Golden Tiger 46-yard line. Ivory moving his troops down the field. Time is in his favor. First and 10 for the Golden Bears on the 46. Ivory on a long count sets up. Ivory gives it to his first man up. And they're going to pick up three yards on the carry. Kendrick for Miles is going to be number 23. For the Golden Bears. Who is he? So the, the announcer say he's Jamari Riley. You know, we're working with a with an older roster and they have it as Avery Frazier on the roster. So. Well, we certainly apologize for the um, non roster here today, but we've been trying to do the best we can. Eleven to fifty nine of the ball game, twenty eight ten is your score. Miles has quarterback Ivory. Ivory calling the signals from his from the 42-yard line of the Tigers. Play action again to the that number one guy, that number one receiver for Miles, and they move it downfield, pick up another Miles first down, Kendrick and Ken. Yeah, Ja Andrews, he's been a workhorse for them all, all season. He's coming up big in the second half. And uh, Miles all season has been a second-half team. The third quarter and the fourth quarter has been their friend all year. 28-10 is the score, first and 10. Ball on the Golden Tiger, 30. 11-23 in the ball game. Golden Tigers, Tigers trying to make a big defensive play. Here goes Ivory from the 30 on a long count. Ivory sets up, gives it to the first guy through, and he will bull down, down, down again, and they pick up another first down, Ken and Kendrick. Starting to see that big offensive line for uh, Miles starting to weigh in on our, you know, our younger defensive line, and uh, they're just starting to move the ball at will at this point on the Golden Tigers. First and ten for the Golden Bears. Ball is on the 21-yard line of the Golden Tigers. 10:39 in the ball game. Miles rapidly moving the ball. Golden Tigers trying to make something big happen defensively. Here's Ivory. Twin receivers to the near side, one to the far. Ivory on a dive play, gets up maybe three yards, and they're trying to eat up that clock with 10-17 remaining in the ball game, Kendrick and Ken. Frank, I must concur with you on that. Uh, they're just trying to control the ball, do some of the things that they need to do. They got a good lead on us right now. They got a drive going working some plays in, working some guys in, and doing some things that they haven't done before. And it killed it, killed it eat up the clock time. Miles, 9.52, trying to keep the Golden Tigers away from Atlanta. 9.47 in the ball game. Here's the play. Ivory rushed heavily, throws on the run, and he completes a pass, gets it down to the 12 seven-yard gain for the Golden Bears. Yeah, the, the Miles Golden Bears right now, they're playing, um, they smell blood in the water right now, and um, they're playing like, and they're trying to deliver the knockout punch right here and punch this ball into the end zone. 9-17, second down and one. Ball is on the 11-yard line for quarterback Ivory and company. His team leads the Golden Tigers 28-10, 9-07, second down and one. Ball marked on the 11-yard line of the Golden Tigers. Ivory gives it up to gut, and Miles moves it down to the five-yard line. That's a great, great uh, offensive call by Miles College on uh, controlling the ball, controlling the clock. First and goal for the Golden Bears. Ball is on the seven-yard line, fourth quarter action. 28-10 is your score. Miles gingerly knocking again at the door. Golden Tiger defensive front is going to have to hold that line. 
Here's a play. Quarterback Ivory gives it up to Gut, and he bulldozes his way down to the three-yard line, picks up about four on that play, gets it down to the five. Yeah, the, the Golden Tigers right now, they're going to have to, you know, dig deep right here because you cannot let the Miles go to Bears score right here. It'll be all academic if they do. Second and goal. Ball is on the five inside the red zone. Golden Tigers send the defensive goal line security force in to try to hold them. Yes, sir. They just definitely did. Second, 742. Second and goal. Ball is on the five-yard line. Fourth quarter action. Miles trying to make it happen again. Here's the play. Ivory throws it. It's incomplete. They try a fade, and it's broken up by the Golden Tigers. Another one just like the other one. <laughs> Third down and goal. Ball rest on the five yard line. 7 29, 28 10 is the score in the fourth. Miles dominated the second half of this ball game with the Golden Tigers trailing 28 10. Third and five ball game. Ball is on the five yard line. Here's the play. And Miles tries to get in. They get in. They score a touchdown, Golden Bears. And Miles gets in again, guys. That's going to be 34 10. That was just Will, you know, on, on the Miles side. Um, that big offensive line, they're starting to win the Golden Tigers. And you just see them, you know, come back, figure some things out. And they just move the ball right down the field at Will and ate up a lot of time off the. Uh, doing so. Seven minutes and 22 seconds. 34-10 is your score. Here's the PAT. It's up. It's good. Got a 35-10 ball game. Let's pause. You're listening to the Golden Tigers Sports Network. I'm returning to Clinton, Paris, and Tampa's my community. I grew up here, went to school here, and my wife and I make our home here. What makes Tampa special are its people. So when I represent someone injured in my community, it's personal. Call my office and speak to a real lawyer and not some referral service. I will fight the insurance companies to get the settlement that you deserve. At the law office of Clinton Paris, we take the pain out of being heard. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and parenting education coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Kevers Voice time and time again. Conversational, powerhouse, intelligent, and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K-E-A-V-E-R-S-V-O-I-C-E dot com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Nope. Nope. You want him? Ooh, I like him. <laughs> quick, the quicker picker upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus 
personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge, featuring a meticulous curated collection We're back live here at Sloan Stadium in Fairfield, Alabama, where Miles has scored again 35-10, seven minutes and 15 seconds in the ball game. And guys, it's pretty much academic at this point. It looks like the Miles Golden Bears has prohibited the Golden Tigers for taking that drive up I-85 North next week to take on Benedict. It looks like Albany State will go to Atlanta and take on Benedict. 7-15 in the ball game, 35-10 is your score. The Golden Tigers still trying to operate with seven minutes and 15 seconds in this contest. Here's a play, big run, gets inside. They'll take it to the 15-yard line. Picks up about maybe seven on that play. But, Frank, I got to give credit to the Golden Tigers. These guys are still running on and off the field. They ran out there. And you can still the, the, the win but don't break kind of mentality. And they're they learning. They, we're a young team. We have a great record of 5-2. So I, I'm, I'm proud of the Golden Tigers. And young the ball staff. club. Young ball club. Got a lot of uh, growing up to do. Um, and uh, Aaron James will uh, get them back together. 629 of the ball game. He came back to where he left a couple years ago, back to Miles. And Miles, you know, came to Tuskegee last year for homecoming. And we got him in triple overtime. But now Miles has a pretty substantial insurance lead over the Golden Tigers. 35-10, 25 points divide this team against the Golden Tigers. 621 in the contest, Frank Lee, Ken Woodard, and Kendrick Hooks on the Golden Tigers Sports Network from Sloan Stadium here in Fairfield. Third down and 11 for the Golden Tigers. They operate from their own 13-yard line. Bryson Williams was um, injured earlier in the contest. He's, uh, he's back. Is that Bryson? Bryson is back. Sets up, wants to throw, throws long, throws out of bounds. And uh, I can't really see that number, Ken and Kendrick. I think that's still going to be Roberson in the ball game. Yeah, Roberson stays in. Bryson is still uh, injured on the sideline. Illumination is not the best here in Sloan Stadium. Uh, we had trouble earlier fighting with the sun. And now uh, Golden Tigers are fighting with the Golden Bears with 557 in the contest. 35-10 is your score. The Bears, the Golden Bears out front of the Tigers by 25. Ryan Duff was standing in his own end zone. He punts it out, gets it to the 48-yard line of the Golden Bears. And here he is. He'll run and put on his speed, oh, and I tell you, Duff. return that punt. Duff made the tackle. To the 25-yard line is Ryan Duff made the tackle for the Golden Tigers. He's a little woozy over there, you know. <laughs> I, I gotta, you got to give him credit, Frank and Kendrick. Uh, the punter, he'll go up there and step in there, but, you know, he got a bell ringer that time. But the fact that Let's he goes in there, he's a competitor. Great job by Duff. Duff. Yes. Stops that uh, punt return uh, by Miles. 542 in the contest. It's been all but the Golden Bears' second half of this ball game. Coach Sam Shade and Coach Aaron James meet for the first time here at Sloan Stadium in Fairfield. 542, 35 10 is your score. Miles with the football. And Miles. Gives it up again, and they don't show any remorse as they're driving down to the 15. That played good for about six yards. 
Well, 35 10 is your score. This ball game has been all but miles. The second half, the Golden Bears have worked their magic against the Golden Tigers, prohibiting Tuskegee for a trip to the SIAC championship for the second time. Golden Tigers trailing this ball game by 25, 35 10, 533 is left in the contest. Kendrick and Ken. Golden Tigers, is, they have a young ball club, going to have to regroup, reload, and get ready for those Hornets. Is Ivory gives it to his first man through. They're doing all they can to generate time and eat that clock up. Yeah, definitely. You know, you, you said it, uh, Ken has said it, uh, young team, eight freshmen and sophomores um, starting on that defense for the Golden Tigers. Um, that's, that's, that's quite a bit, um, a lot to learn, a lot to, uh, to endure. And uh, we get a little break before we go, you know, up 80, I-85 to the Hornets nest. And, um, and we'll see how much the Golden Tigers have grown up. Might not go north, but we will go south on 85. How about that? 451 in the ball game, 35-10. Ivory gives it again, and they run in circles and run around and run around again and run around again, and they are finally down around the 34-yard line. 434 in the ball game in Fairfield, the battle between the Tigers and the Golden Bears, this game separates an opportunity for Coach Aaron James and the Golden Tigers to go to the championship game in Atlanta. Well, Miles has just about canceled that invitation, at least for this year. 4.05 to go in the ball game, 35-10, third down and 19. For Miles. F Miles bobbles the football, picks it up, throws it on the run at the last minute, and King bats it down, couldn't pull it down with 349 to go in the ball game. Well, yep. it looks like this is going to be the final conference game for the 2023 season as the Golden Tigers take on their rival. Miles here in Fairfield, Alabama. And Frank, uh, Kendrick, I got to give a credit. Makai still playing, playing hard, going up in the air, trying to knocking the ball down, and keep, but keeping the defense out on the field. But I, I still love his acceleration, you know, his explosion with that ball getting there. Miles punts it off back, and um, it goes into the end zone. No. No, it doesn't. It goes to the one. It'll be first and ten as Michael King was back to um, Give feel that punt. He was doing the deep decoy there, Frank. <laughs> I like that. He go in the opposite direction on the other side and wave your hand in the air. And um, the ball bounced in it, but it, it took a, a Miles College bounce and stayed inside without going into the end zone. We're going to take a TV timeout. This broadcast is audio. Let's pause. Let's score. Miles 35, Tuskegee 10. You're listening to the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and parenting education coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Kevers Voice time and time again. Conversational. Powerhouse, intelligent and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K E A V E R S V O I C E dot com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Nope. Nope. Come on, him. Ooh, I like him. 
The quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar. We're back. Live at Sloan Stadium, where Miles has the football against the Golden Tigers. Miles, 329 in the ball game. And pushing it back. Golden oh, Tigers, rather, with the football. Let me correct myself. Three minutes and 20 seconds to go. Golden Tigers with the football, rather. 35-10 is your score. Tuskegee operating from the end zone. Here's a play. Bursting run by the Golden Tigers. They come out of the hole, take it to the 13-yard line. Pick up maybe a yard or two on that play. 245 in the ball game. 35-10 is your score from Sloan. Stadium in Fairfield, where it's all been the Golden Bears that they've dominated against the Golden Tigers. Tuskegee University, very young football club. Coach Aaron James has a couple of weeks to get ready for the Hornets of Alabama State. He'll go against Harry Williams, offensive coordinator, another Golden Tiger, who's the uh, offensive coordinator for Alabama State right here. Here's another run, maybe two yards on that play by the Tigers. 2.13 in the contest. Two minutes and nine seconds separate the Golden Tigers and the Miles College Golden Bears. 35-10 is your score from Sloan Stadium in Fairfield. Third down and five for Tuskegee. Ball is on the 12-yard line. Fourth quarter action. Frank Lee, Ken Woodard, and Kendrick Hooks on the Golden Tigers Sports Network. This has been a presentation of the Tuskegee University Department of Athletics. Certainly glad to partner with Black College Sports Network. Minute 33 to go in the contest. Play action. Roberson calls his own number and someone loses a helmet, Ken and Kendrick. And there's a flag that appears on the field. Yeah, the ref had to come in and um, break the, the, you know, the teams up a couple of times. Just a lot of pride on the field. Um, for Tuskegee, a lot of disappointment right now. I know they wanted to come out and make a better showing and make it uh, to Atlanta. But um, like I said, a young team, they are, they're playing for pride right now. We want to finish the, uh, the game strong. Personal foul. A sense against the Golden Bears. It brings the Golden Tigers to the 31 yard line, it'll be first and 10 for the Golden Tigers on the 31 yard line. And uh, looks like we got a new quarterback in the game. Is that Malik Davis? Let me see. I was trying to look at that number. Uh, is he 11 or 16? Yeah, I tell you, it's kind of difficult to see that. That is Malik Davis, number 16. 16 Davis yeah. comes in with a minute and five. They go in the ball game. He'll get a few reps as he ends up the SIAC uh, conference play for 2023. Golden Tigers will end up falling two conference games after falling to Edward Waters at uh, homecoming. They'll finally end up losing to Miles here in Fairfield. Minute and five to go in the ball game, and Miles has dominated the Tigers, prohibiting an opportunity to go to that championship game in Atlanta next week. But still, we have the Alabama State Hornets still on the list and a possible 
a game down in the state of Florida. Kendrick, we talked about that earlier. Explain how that might occur. So um, this year there is a bowl game, much like to those who remember the old Pioneer Bowl, um, there's a a bowl game called the Florida Beach Bowl. Uh, It's going to be held in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, It's going to be held to open up the bowl season. And um, you got to win six games to qualify, so the Golden Tigers do qualify. Here's the play. Play action, long pass. It's going to be thrown. It's going to be caught. And it'll be caught inside of the... 12-yard line, great throw by Malik Davis, about a 48-yard pass. It'll be inside of the 15. It'll be first and 10 for the Golden Tigers from the Golden Bears 15-yard line, the longest pass reception today, guys. Yeah, you know, I asked earlier about, about Malik Davis. He's come in at the end, you know, to, um, to clean up duties, get a few more um, reps, um, you know, and we just see what happens. The guys, Tuskegee is still on that jersey, and that still means a lot. So good to see the guys still out there competing. Golden Tigers have had a, a not-too-bad season. This is going to be the second conference loss for Coach Aaron James in his debut as a head ball coach at Tuskegee University. He comes back to Miles where he spent the majority of his coaching career here in um, in uh, Fairfield and uh, Sloan Stadium. Didn't turn out the way the Golden Tigers wanted to turn out, but Miles has played competitively here against the Golden Tigers. 50 ticks separate the end of the 2023 regular conference a debut for Coach Aaron James. We'll have rival Alabama State on uh, Turkey Day. And as Kendrick alluded to earlier, a possibility of playing in a bowl game, a postseason game down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So potentially one extra game uh, due to the fact that a game next week in Atlanta would have prohibited the Golden Tigers from playing in that postseason bowl game now. The opportunity may occur for the Golden Tigers since they did not uh, make it up 85 next week, Ken and Kendrick. Yeah, definitely. Um, and that bowl game has just picked up a title, a multi-year title sponsor from Amaret Bank. Um, so it, it looks to be a, um, a, a really big thing, um, the SWAC and the MEAC. They have a bowl game. And so the CIAA and SIEC has decided to go back in that bowl game route. So it, um, it'll be you know, a good opportunity to go down to Florida. We have what, a what does it look like? Who, who in the CIAA may be a possibility to, to make their um, – presence in that bowl game against the SIAC. Any, any kind of indications of who that might be? Yeah, so, you know, according to the rankings, if you go to the playoffs, um, you won't make it. So today they had a big uh, time that determined the CIAA North between Virginia Union and Virginia State. And so Virginia Union got the win. And so Virginia State is probably going to be on the outside looking in for the playoffs. So that'll be a good consolation prize for them. And if you all remember, uh, I think it was That's 2017 right. or 18. Reggie Barlow. Yeah, Reggie Barlow led the Virginia State uh, University of Trojans. They came down and beat us. We needed an extra game to qualify for the playoffs, so it could be a good uh, review. Here's a play. Let's go back to live action. Here's a fade. It's going to be out of the end zone as Davis threw it to the corner and intended receiver for the Golden Tigers was uh, number 84 for the Golden Tigers, and that's going to be uh, yeah, it was a nice little fade route there, Gregory right? King Jr. Okay, Got a chance to get a little action for the Tigers as Malik Davis fires it out. 43 ticks are away from a Miles victory here as they uh, defeat the Golden Tigers at home, the final game for the Golden Tigers in the conference. Here's uh, Malik Davis. Davis calls the signals for the Tigers. Malik fires it up. It's incomplete. And that's going to bring up second down and 10 for the Golden Tigers. 39 ticks here on the clock. 35-10 is your score here at Sloan Stadium in Birmingham, in Fairfield, rather. Make that correction, Fairfield, Alabama. 
still in Jefferson County. Capacity crowd here in, uh, on the campus of Miles. Well, Frank Kendrick, I like to say um, that they, they're trying to get in that end zone and get that score right to so go down in history. Here's Malik, sets up, throws a fade. Back in the end zone. It's going to be caught in the back of the end zone, yeah. out of the end zone, and out of play. It's going to bring up third down for the Golden Tigers. Malik Davis didn't see very much action this year. Uh, Davis uh, gets a chance to get a few reps here against the Golden Bears. Uh, Malik Davis is um, he's a senior. 33 ticks are on the clock as the Golden Bears have 35 points on the scoreboard. Golden Tigers have 10. And Miles will walk away with the conference win. And the Golden Tigers will pick up their second loss. Here's Malik. Malik is going to take it to the house. And he is going to be brought down around the six with 23 seconds to go in the ball game. And... 22 ticks on the clock. And, and uh, well, Golden Tigers, uh, they'll turn it over to the Golden Bears. Frank, and I got to give Malik Davis credit on it. I mean, he, he's still fighting to the end. And that's one thing, you know, you fight to the end, and you learn to become a winner. Sometimes you're going to win, sometimes you're going to lose. But what you did learn today is how to win and how to keep fighting. Because at any time, any given Sunday, or we say Saturday, that you can win a game, you can make the, you can make a play that can change the, change your whole day. You got to give Miles credit. They played an outstanding game. They played their hearts out. Tuskegee uh, falls to the second loss here in the conference, third loss of the season. Got to lick the wounds and get ready for the Hornets of Alabama State, that's going to be another game where you can throw those records out of the window, just like the one that we're seeing taking place here in Fairfield. Fifteen seconds left on the scoreboard, and Miles will let the clock expire. Sam Slade gets a win against Aaron James. Final score from Fairfield, Miles 35. Tuskegee 10. We'll be back to wrap it up on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Featuring a meticulous curated collection. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and parenting education coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Kevers Voice time and time again. Conversational, powerhouse, intelligent, and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K-E-A-V-E-R-S-V-O-I-C-E dot com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Nope. Nope. Come on, him? Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. 
itchy. We're back here in Fairfield, Alabama. Final score, Miles 35, Tuskegee 10. Well, guys, we won't travel up I-85 North, but we will travel I-85 South against the Alabama State University Hornets in a few days in Montgomery. Ken Woodard, your final comments? My final comments is great, Frank. Uh, it's always been a pleasure. And seeing this last game at Miles College playing this, this year has been ups and downs. But I learned one thing, this team always been pulling it out in the clutch. And sometimes they just could, couldn't put it all together. But the young guys, and I look forward to seeing them playing the Turkey Day Classic and fighting to the finish just like the last play. Malik Davis did a great job. Still trying to get in the end zone with um, 10 seconds left to go in the game. Kendrick. Love it. Yeah, you know, um, just hats off to Miles College, um, a 1-9 team last season. Coach Sham Shade comes in and um, gets some big wins for the, this institution. Um, hats off to Coach James in his first year, and I think that's, that needs to be emphasized uh, the most. He's in his first season, has a lot of young players, and um, we're still in the fight for it. And so that's what you want to see. Um, the Golden Boys, they came out, they fought hard today. Just didn't come, didn't come out in our favor, but um, we look forward to going going down and face those Alabama State Hornets and regroup for uh, next year and maybe a possible bowl game. For Kendrick Hooks and Ken Woodard, I'm Frank Lee. Our time is up, and we thank you for yours. Final score from Sloan Stadium in Fairfield, Alabama, on the campus of Miles College, Miles 35, Tuskegee 10. You've been listening to the Golden Tiger Sports Network. We love them golden boys. <laughs>